welcome back. Please hold, I'm just getting my Sims 2 soundtrack ready. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Let me get my game open too. And then we can play some Not So Berry. Oh, I should probably also put, hold on. Let's do slow three. How about that? <laughs> just a smidge of slow mode, you know? Just a smidge. Anyway, hi Sid, thank you for the 34 month three sub. Okay, I think, let me get my game open and then we'll play. My thought today is that I want to play through Not So Berry some more to get my orange gen sim older because I want him to be like ready, I guess, to have kids when the update comes out because I want to play with the infant update with his kids. So, um, hold on, my game's trying to game capture it. There we go, finally. So we gotta do that. We gotta just play a little bit more um, in Not So Berry, I think. When is the update? The infant update is next week. Um, so I'm waiting. <laughs> well, I'm getting desperate. <laughs> it's on, it's gonna be on the 14th, so um, next Tuesday. A little bit over a week away is when the update is. Um, okay, let me get load game. Let me get into the not so berry save, shall we? Um, not so berry. Okay, Kate, clearly Ashley and G and Alien and Somnia and Local and Bleedle and Magpie and Toxic, uh, Gremlins, Crossing, Honey, Casey, Stephanie, Keontae and Swifty and Princess and Udi and Molly and Jelly and Charlie and Kirby with the 30 months, Jazzy, Sid, thank you all so much everybody, Tattoo, um, Sian and E4 and Tori and Little Dika with the 32 months and Becca and Appealing and, and uh, Alien, thank you all so much. All right, let's get in there. Shall we? Always excited for Not So Berry? Me too. Me too. I gotta see, I forget how old my orange gen sim is. I think he's like halfway through being a teen. We'll have to figure out um, exactly how old. Oh my God, and, <laughs> oh, the other thing is that um, in my, I made a YouTube video a few days ago where I went on a bit of a grave hunt and I got like 50 more. So I haven't placed those down yet. So we'll have to do that too. Um, how many graves did we have before this? Okay, so <laughs> we have 214 now. <laughs> I'll do this first while we chat. <laughs> okay, don't mind me. I'm just gonna get these all placed down and then I can move some of them. Oh, how far does the lot go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is gonna be rough, I think. We're gonna have to try and spit all these here. <laughs> Chaos, Anna, Mingo, Grace, and Drella, uh, and Fang, and Megan, and, and Map, and Mia, and, and Ness, and Perpetual, Ava, Sierra, uh, Thiago, and Star, and Nelly, and Tofu, and Drella, and Jayla, and Mushroom, and Meg. Thank you all so much, everybody. Kayla has a lot of graves. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, it's, it is a concerning number of graves. I agree. Okay, I've been trying to like have the graves sort of go around the tree, like in a in like a circle around them. So I feel like I should be able to place them like this. Yeah, that seems good. My bike is now kind of um, trapped there. <laughs> I'm gonna be out of space. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? This is what I wanted. I, I sort of wanted to be out of space, but It's a little bit worse than I thought. Wow. This is gonna start scaring people. Hmm. Where's this, where's like the place, they stand right there, don't they, when they jump in? So we need to keep that in mind. Hold on. Okay, so we should be okay. I think even if it's like that, it should be okay. Yeah, he's fine. Can you get out of there? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> There's plenty of 
space for all of them. Um, wow. <laughs> well, we've got a very large number of graves. I can save the game now. That was brave. No, no, that was grave. Get it? It was, it was brave. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna die though. He was in a good mood. So I wasn't worried. Okay, let's send everybody to bed, shall we? And then we can start talking about this. Oh wait, how old is, how old are you? Age up in nine days. Okay, that's fine. Use bathroom, go to sleep. Everyone to sleep. I need to redo these kids' rooms too. Don't you kind of want Grave to die anyway? No, I don't think I want, I mean, look, I'm sick of having this many Sims, but it's okay. The other thing that we want to do is get another pet because my Sims uh, pet died in the last stream of this. So we have to get another one. So, no, Claire, honestly, I'm terrified of this infant update. I'm excited because it seems like so in depth and cool, but along those same lines, absolutely terrified there's so much you know <sighs> you can't be afraid of someone controlling your life i'm i have to cheat that fear away every single time i hate that fear of unfulfilled dreams it's so annoying so annoying anyway <laughs> girls rock and lady and turtle sammy tina corbin and lady thank you all for the subs all right how are we doing good enough um, is Sims gonna go live when the update comes? Do you mean Sims? Like the Sims team? Or is that a typo of Simsy? Because I get that a lot, people type Sims instead of Simsy. Um, when the update comes out next week, like next Tuesday, I will absolutely stream. I'm gonna make a video on it first, obviously, like always. Um, and then I'll go live at four, when I usually do. And we'll play with the update on Tuesday, when it comes out. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, okay, everyone eat your breakfast. Yeah. Um, your social is low too, and you need, I guess you're fine for work, okay. Annoyingly, you have work today. Maybe today, speaking of, we could go, we kind of have a boyfriend, we could go talk to them today. Yeah. Oh no, I need to get a pet. Oh, that's right, okay. I think I want a dog. I think I want a dog because I want to go play with my new dog park. Maybe I'll get a dog. Should I see who's available to be adopted? And then we can, if there's nothing that seems orange enough, we can, we can make one. That seems reasonable to me. Hire a service. Adopt a dog. You miss having a pet? I know, well, we only haven't had a pet for like 10 minutes. <laughs> the, the cat died right at the end of our last stream, so. Why does it look like that? Do you drop the fox thing? That's too easy. Why does, why does Brandy look like that? It's a puggle. Should I get it? What do we call it? Get two? We can't, we have seven sims. I'm really, you know I love an ugly dog. You know I love an ugly dog. Okay. What should we name it? Rusty? You think Rusty? I wanted to get- oh, it's not that ugly. Oh, you were way uglier in that picture. Oh, no, you look a little bit- <laughs> It looks a little bit like- okay, okay, hear me out. It looks a little bit like Baby Yoda. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, this just 
just made my day. Okay, let me come talk to the dog. Bonita. <laughs> mm, you're so cute. <laughs> what should we name it? Okay, so we thought about naming a human Clementine, but then I never got a chance to because I had too many kids. I think it needs to be- I think it needs to be an orange theme. I know that, like, we have a lot of funny jokes about it looking like Baby Yoda, but I think that it needs to be an orange theme. Tangy. <laughs> Tangy like Animal Crossing. Mango's funny. Mango's kind of cute. Pulp? Pulp? Why we can't just call it pulp? We can't call it cheddar because I have a son named Cheddar. I don't okay, everybody's saying pulp and Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to pick. I'll call it pulp. Fine. That's so stupid. You're all so stupid. This is Rochella's fault. <sighs> Fine. I love this dog. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening right now. Okay, game's being kind of laggy. Stop. Stop. Let me save. Wow. I had a funny Star Wars name and you picked pulp. Yeah, I did. I did pick pulp, okay? Yeah. It's not orange? No, I'm gonna go give it an orange collar. We don't always have like color themed pets. I didn't have like a red dog in the red gen, you know? Okay, cast off full edit mode. My game's being so laggy. Um, modifying cast. Okay. We'll get a nice little collar. Have you awesome? know? Sir Bane. Okay. I the little picture is so funny. Oh my god. Okay. Or oh, there's not Oh, there is orange. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm offended. I like that little orange collar. I think that's very cute. Should we pick an outfit? Like... Aww. Aww. You look at my little best friend! What are you? A hunter, friendly, and independent. Aren't you glad I got this dog? This is my new favorite- I cannot believe you made me call it Pulp. This is my new favorite dog. It's hideous. <laughs> oh, I'll put the Sims on the gallery. Um. <laughs> I want to go bring it to the dog park. So that we can run. So exciting. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Honey, Nocturnal, Abs, and Molly, and Emma, and Lore, and Ghost, and Molten, and Shifa, and Joey, and Ghostin, and Fifi, and Amanda, and Haley, and Trash, and Hydrology, and Caddy, and Sierra, Mommy, All She Says, Ruby, Ona, Amber, Alex, Purple, Girls, Lady, Jordal, Sammy, Tina, Jay, Corbin. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Thank you all for the subs. <laughs> Try really hard not to miss any. <laughs> okay. Um... One second. All right, let's load in. Hello, Genevieve, Otter, Guy, and Molly, and Jilly. Thank you all for the subs. <sighs> I'm with you, Christine. I'm anti-pulp. So anti-pulp. Not anti-this pulp, but anti-pulp in general. Okay, let me go see if I have a dog park placed, and then we'll go. I'm so excited about this dog. Oh my god. This just made my life. This is the best dog we've had in this entire series. I, I played through like 16 generations though, so there was probably a different good dog that I liked, but this one, honestly, really high up there. 
really high up there. Okay. Um, oh dear. Oh, I have that dog park. That isn't the one that I built though. This is kind of awkward because like, I, I built a dog park to be placed right here, but like a family lives there. You know? So what do I do? Just like, I guess. <laughs> there was a bunch of them, I feel kind of guilty. Okay, um, Newcrest Dog Park. I'm gonna have two dog parks at, dog parks at Newcrest now. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyo, caffeinated, Lottie, and Gladskin, and Banana, and Breen, thank you for the subs. What's that restaurant? Uh, I think it's one of the ones that's like default, like one of the ones that comes in your library if you buy Dine Out. It's not one that I built, I don't think. Okay, I have a dog park right in between some lovely houses. So cute. Uh, Leaf, thank you for the sub too. Yeah, no, I don't think I built that. Okay, I'm going to go to the dog park right now. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Not with most of you though. Just with Blaze and Pulp. I can't believe we called it that, we could, uh, Okay, it's fine. I, that's my one reg regret, but that's Rochella's fault, so. My greatest regret is knowing Rochella. Anyone else agree? No, don't say, don't agree, that's mean. Only I can say that, because she knows I'm kidding. <laughs> um, oh no. Oh, it's terrible weather. It is big summer blowout though, so I can do some water fun. Okay, um, maybe I should start by, uh, maybe I'll Instagram the pet quickly. Oh my God. It's creepy. It's a creepy dog. Okay. Now we have to go run this course. Command pulp to use. No. Run obstacle course with pulp. Come on. Don't lag though, because I want to see it. Look at you go! Look, look, did you see that? Look at her! She went right in there. Professional. Okay. Okay, next, do this. And do a good job, okay? Everybody's watching. Oh my god! Oh my god, did you see his face? <laughs> this is the best dog we've ever had! Oh my god! can't even get like up close enough for that. Wow. I want to Instagram it when it's barking. Oh, oh I can't. The dog just refused to do the obstacle. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing. Do you think she'll be able to jump through this hoop? <gasps> Wait. Come on, you can do it. 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 Okay, not very well. Oh! Good going! <laughs> this is not funny. This is not funny. Look at its face! I can't- I actually can't get over this. It doesn't look like a dog. <laughs> I'm so glad we got this dog. This just made my day. I'm in such a good mood right now. Sakuni. Oh my god, she's on fire. <gasps> Oops. Um. Oh, she did that one. That was impressive. You might be fine. I can't believe 
Okay, do the next one. Do you think she can do it? Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's try and frame this so you can see Blaze just like right in the in the middle of the circle. <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she didn't do that well that time. That's okay. That's okay. You'll get him next time. You'll get him next time. That's fine. <laughs> I can't believe she can do that one. The way she failed this one, but did that one. How do you, like, unfire them? How do I get her no longer on fire? Because the dog is, like, actively on fire. I think we're okay now. That was really good. <laughs> General Joy Snowy, thank you for the subs, by the way. <sighs> Nutella as well. This dog, I want to be like a pro. I'm, I'm gonna like make them max all the skills. She's gonna be such a winner. Don't scold, just praise. Positive reinforcement. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, should we should we like do it again, or should I? Maybe I'll play in the water. What? I want to get like water fun. Da 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 da. Huh? <laughs> Glaring. Hmm. Da da. <laughs> Does that count? I feel like it should. No. Okay. Pulp, we're running the course again. We gotta get practicing, okay? See if we can do better. I think she'll get him this time. We did that one. She didn't even do this one last time, she refused. Okay, she refused again. <laughs> Cameron, General, thank you for the subs. <sighs> this one's easy. Okay, don't fail this time, okay? Easy. Easy. No stream music today? I'm playing some now. I think this is just one of the quiet songs, though. What pack does Summer Blowout come from? It's not- oh! It's not from a pack, it's a holiday that I made. I made it so that we could have some extra holidays. You won't do that! This is what I don't understand. She's- she won't- like, why? Why? You'll do the fire hoops, but you won't do this? <sighs> Whatever. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. I'm pet training level one now. Should I train the dog with, like... Train to roll over. Let's do it. Blaze is singing Drown Out the soundtrack. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Barry, thank you for the 16 months. Oh my god, Shella's sending me screenshots she was taking of Pulp. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm gonna send this to Dan. I want him to see my dog. Here, here, here. Do you like my dog? <laughs> oh, so, so good. Okay, maybe I should go home now. It's been a long day. Do we have a hot tub at home? I don't remember. I don't think so. Where am I gonna get my water fun? Not sure. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe I can get a water slide. No, I can't get a water slide because I have no space. I don't have a pool either. And my whole front yard is graves, so there's no space. There is a water balloon next to the lot. I guess that would probably count. Okay. Let's try that. I'm gonna throw water balloons at Garfield. Ha! 
Come on. Okay. Fill with water balloons. Oh, I'm smelly. This is a custom-made holiday, yeah, Kathy. <laughs> Have a water balloon fight with Garfield. Ew, look how much you smell. Okay, are you ready? Ew, you failed. Do better. Flawed installation, don't care. Don't care. Well, hello, are you gonna throw them or not? I wanna get like a good screenshot of this. They don't hit each other ever. Your mother called pulp a hideous mistake? <gasps> Your mother said what? <laughs> About my dog? This is anything but hideous. <laughs> this is the most beautiful creature alive, okay? Look at it. See? <laughs> perfection, pure perfection. Oh, it's wonderful timing, Pulp, thank you. <laughs> okay, what should I do next? Maybe I'll shower, I don't know. Probably should. As long as you're happy! Oh, why did you walk in on me? Get out! Cheddar. Okay. Okay. Use the bathroom. I might cook some meals as well. And then maybe I'll do like a school project or something. Maybe I'll make some mac and cheese. Oh no, I'm late. Did I miss anything? Um, hold, please hold. Cause, cause I, I would say so, yeah. Uh, what you missed was this is my new dog. So, um, her name is Pulp. <laughs> Shark just goes, oh my. <laughs> Those choppers help? Oh my God. <laughs> I love her. This might be the first time I ever use one of those, like, age down potions on a dog so that she never dies. <laughs> okay, I'm making some mac and cheese. And then maybe after this, I'll do, um... This is my school project, maybe I'll work on that afterward. Yeah. Okay. That should be good. Finish eating. Go. <sighs> Hello. Go work on your project. How's everybody else doing? Mm, you like to grill. Do you want to grill something for today? Oh my. Okay. I'll go. Oh, we actually get to go this time! Oh, it didn't glitch! Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, this will be fun. Alright. Hopefully it goes okay. I just got really scared because some of my mods changed their Discord profile pictures to photos of pulp. So I looked over in the mods chat and there's just like a bunch of scary dogs. So, that, whoa, you belong in this generation. The fiery shirt, the orange hair. <gasps> oh, someone just asked where's Snap? Um, right there. She's appeared on the desk. Oh my God. 
Shall we date? Blaze has a boyfriend, but I don't know if he's here. If I have to find a new one, that'd be fine. Although I still like Hugh, so. Okay, I'm gonna make my siblings vote for um, me for prom royalty. Because I want to win. Vote for prom royalty, sure. What do you want to do? Use the photo booth? Oh, we can do that. Take a little prom photo. Sure. Gossip with someone. Is Hugh here? No. They're dancing, that's cute. Lori seems pretty. Do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> Just a thought. You know, prom just hasn't been the same. Ever since they like got rid of the chicken thing, it's not as good anymore. I hate to say it, but I, I just really feel like they kind of ruined prom by getting rid of the chickens. <laughs> hey Salty, thanks for the raid. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like uh, ever since they made it so there's not a million chickens on the tables anymore. It's just like not as good. Okay, are you introducing yourself? I need to like... Well, I need to gossip with somebody. Maybe with your siblings? Gossip. Your prom still has chickens? Well, I don't, ha oh, I don't have any chickens today. It's because before the buffet table when it first came out, each of them, I'm not kidding, had five roasted chickens. So, like, there was three tables, there was 15 chickens. On each table. Total, I should say. Yours still does all chickens? I guess... A lot of these are, like, the wedding stories items, right? So is it because I have... Maybe I have a pack that you don't have? I haven't had all chickens since the pack first came out. Oh, I'm jealous. You guys still have all chickens? Really? Oh. This stinks. Okay, let me dance. I guess the prom award ceremony is starting. Hopefully I win. <gasps> prom royalty blaze pots! I won! Oh, just as I wanted. Prom king. This, I think, is contributing to our, cons like, insists on being evil but nobody believes him storyline. Like, he keeps being like, no, I'm evil. Everybody's like, no, you're not. You're the nicest guy in school. Although, I guess he also rigged it. So maybe that is evil. Hard to say. I'll dance. <laughs> Morgan, Aziza, Alice, Waffles, thank you for the subs. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Grab a drink. Maybe I can get another prom photo now that I have a crown. I like these photos. Oh, it doesn't seem like a good one. You wanna go to the after party? Okay. I can do that. <laughs> I'm glad, thank you for the subs too. Oh, hi Hope. Um, yeah, so did you hear about my dog. Yeah. You didn't have prom here, queen at your prom? Do you know what? We had like a prom king and queen, but I don't remember who they were. So, oh. Do you think my siblings didn't get invited to the after party? I guess I didn't choose to bring them, so it could be my fault. But I'm gonna choose to believe that they didn't invite my siblings. That's actually really mean. 
Turingo. <laughs> Why wouldn't you invite them? What did they do? I mean, yeah, they're not as cool as me, but... Should we ride the Ferris wheel? With Kevin? Why not? Here's this homecoming court instead of prom. Oh yeah, we had homecoming court and prom as well. They, the homecoming court, they would do like, um, one for every grade. So there would be like four of them. And then our prom was only for, dislikes mischief, no. Our prom was only for seniors. So we only had senior prom. Who died? Our Sims cat died. I give up, this after party sucks, I'm going home. <laughs> this after party is boring, I don't wanna be here. Okay. You hated homecoming? Yeah, I went to homecoming once. I also didn't like it. Those kind of things are not for me. I, I felt so self-conscious at it and like, I, I don't like loud things or crowds. So like, that's just not, it's not for me. I'm not the type that enjoys an event like that, <laughs> you know? What is homecoming? Um, homecoming is like a school dance that they would do. Uh, homecoming would be like in the fall and then they were, there would be prom, and then like anyone at the school could go to homecoming. So like all of the ages of our high school could go. So like freshmen, sophomores, everybody could go. So when you're like 14 through 17, 18, basically anyone could go to the prom, to the homecoming. And then prom was only for seniors. So like there was a fancier dance that was just for your last year, but anybody could go to homecoming. Basically was the vibes. So, okay. I found out from my sister, I did not even know this, but my brother and sister told me, I don't know how they didn't tell me this before, but apparently um, the week before COVID <laughs> happened, before like they closed the school and stuff a few years ago, uh, they did a spring fling for the first time ever at our high school. Obviously I, don't, I didn't go there anymore because I graduated, but apparently they did a spring fling and it was like a total disaster and everybody hated it so much. And then they never went to school again afterward. Cause COVID happened. <laughs> Isn't that wild? I didn't know about that though. I don't know how they didn't tell me about that. You'd think that would be like a thing you'd mention, but no, it didn't get mentioned. So yeah, a lot of schools have junior prom as well as senior prom, or at least like both ages could go to prom. But at my school, only the seniors could go to prom. You could bring like, if you had like a date that was a junior, you could like fill out a form to bring them. But like by default, the juniors weren't invited to prom, you know, like not all of them could go. So, um, oh, your school was small. So you had junior, senior. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, you had a graduation formal. Yeah. I think a lot of places have stuff like that too. Something that is so weird to me. Oh, left my siblings at prom. Um, <laughs> something that I like think is so bizarre. When Dan told me about this, I was like, like, so surprised. I guess surprise is the wrong word because like obviously I understand that it's different, but a dance, um, what did he call it? Leavers ball. At Dan's Leavers ball. They had, they were serving alcohol at a school function. Obviously in the UK, a lot of them were 18, but I, to me, could you imagine if like the school was serving pro like alcohol at prom? Isn't that so bizarre? Like as an American to think about that is so wild, but they call it a leavers ball and they served alcohol at it. Again, probably happens in a lot of places, but it was just so wild to me. <laughs> that just seems so weird to think of a school thing having alcohol like officially. Um, but <laughs> promise at 16 leavers ball is 18. Yeah. And Dan wasn't 18 yet. So he um, was not served alcohol at, at leavers ball. Oh my God, Shella is still going with this. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Earth, Butterfly, Josie, Ellie, Mary, and Allie, and Rogue, and, and Klebunka, and Leo, and Arcade, and Megs, and Avalon. Thank you for the subs. Anyway. They were so weird about stuff like that at my prom. And this is why it's like so like bizarre for me to even think about. Cause at the school dances that I went to, I went to a, two of them. Um, at our homecoming, which was at school, it was like in the gym. Um, if you, once you went in there, so like once they checked your ticket and like went in with you, 
um, or, or you went in there, you weren't allowed to leave because if, well, you could leave, but you couldn't come back. So like if you had to leave to go get something out of your car or whatever, you weren't allowed back in. Um, and it was a big ordeal because one of my friends wanted to go to her car to like get a tampon and she was like, please, I need this. It's left in my car because like she doesn't have a bag, right? You're at prom. So she couldn't bring one in. And they were like, no, sorry, you can't. And she was like, can you walk out there with me? Like, I just want to get, and they wouldn't let her. Because they were so worried about people going out and like drinking and then coming back in. They wouldn't let you leave at all. You wouldn't be allowed to come back in. And they were very dramatic about it. Very dramatic about it. They breathalyzed you at your prom? Did they really? That's wild. Um, but anyway, they were really, really strict and weird about it at prom. That's why, so when I think about like Dan, like <laughs> them serving alcohol at it is like so bizarre. It's just such a different like situation, you know? Um, really? It's, see, that's, see, that sucks. Um, wow, it sounds like a lot of you were. That's wild. So many of you on the way in and out. Two times and metal detectors? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is wild. Such a weird thing. <laughs> Maria, Kelly, thank you for the subs, both of you. Thank you, Snap. Snap, do you want to see my Sims dog? <gasps> oh my god. It sleeps with its eyes open. The eyes are closed, but the I think I think her eyeballs are so big they're clipping through her eyelids. Oh my god. <laughs> I just how is this game even possible? It's just so much. This dog is too much. I'm so happy we have Pulp. You have no idea. This is the greatest dog I've ever had in The Sims. Greatest dog we've ever seen. Oh, she's up. Where are you going now? She can fly. Oh, when I get off stream, I'm gonna have like 50 screenshots of this dog. <laughs> oh, she's under the bed. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> how is this? How? Oh. And we're gone. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me get some leftovers. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I put the household on the gallery a second ago. So Pulp is on the gallery. God. <laughs> Pulp should be the orange gen air. I agree, honestly. I think you're right about that. I thought you had monster under the bed turned off. Oh my. You know, I thought so too. And then all of a sudden, Pulp. Okay, you get some leftovers. Blaze, I guess, oh, oh look, Blaze is fully rested. Good. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have Blaze do some uh, school projects this morning. See if we can finish this. Um, work carefully. Oh, good. Extinguish yourself. You guys want to put the fire out? He's still just there on fire. Do you want to put the fire out? Hello? Oh my god. Okay. It's been a while since we had that, so that's fine. That's fine. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. <laughs> Check the other sims. I don't think any of the other ones caught on fire. No. Fluffy, Just worry storm. about fire. Not actually on fire, luckily. Oh, look, they're all afraid of fire. That's cute. Okay. Come on, we're gonna finish the project. Do 
Is that an octopus on the kitchen counters? Um, actually, it's a live space squid. So. Sim and Cal and Suffolk and Kayla and Faxi and Watermelon, thank you for the subs. Shell with a Gibbon sub, Suffer and Poppy and Maria and Ernest, thank you all for the subs too. Okay, we'll try and finish this. Maybe I'll go on a date with my Sims boyfriend. I don't know. Just working on some skill first. Programming. Ooh. Are there decorations on the house? Yeah, it looks like we have some stuff up from New Year's Eve, I think. <laughs> Which is like a full week ago in game. <laughs> um, yeah. Sure. <laughs> and it's now fall. <laughs> Oh no, it's fall. Oh, it's been weeks. Multiple weeks. Oh no. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. About that. Okay, I want to get the one that we gain uh, handiness skill from. I'm gonna work on that too. No, we're not on short lifespan anymore. I played for a couple days on short lifespan though. And Raisin has changed her job. Raisin switched to the entertainer career. So Raisin, Lori thinks Blaze is swell and wants to become best friends. Okay. Oops, now me and Hugh aren't best friends anymore. Well, I'll go look at Lori and Cass. I'll think about it. I was gonna try and like date and dump people a bunch. So we can date Lori. She seems pretty. Okay, Lori has a cat. Um, that's Lori's sister, mom, and other sister. She's into eco-innovating. She's a geek. She loves the outdoors. She seems pretty. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. She and I seem to have similar style as well with the sweater. Hmm. Oh, I like those floral pants. I think that's really cute. I don't know if I've seen those. What do you like and dislike? You don't like white. You don't like pop music. You like polished and rocker fashion. You don't like fitness. And you like island decor. Okay. I feel like she's cute. Maybe we'll give her a little makeover, see if we want to be her friend. I mean, well, I guess we are her friend. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be compatible? I don't know. I don't really like her aspiration. Do you want a different one? Honestly, all of these are inconvenient to me. Maybe she could do like the city living aspiration because we're gonna move to San Myshuno if we marry her. Are her siblings also- no, you're not a teen. Her siblings are a little bit older than her. We don't have to worry about compatibility until March 14th. Yeah, we got time. We don't need to worry about compatibility yet. I mean, we don't have to date her. We need to, we need to look at Hugh again. And decide. Oh, there's so many cute outfits from high school years. I love this top. I just think this is so cute. Oh, we can put her in orange. Should we wear like a little skirt with it? Hmm. Um, you know what? I 
kind of works. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Well, at the very least, we can be friends with her. So. Maybe we'll get some eyeliner. Do I want to wear much makeup? I don't know. Do I want to spend a long time in Cass? I also don't know. Where's the top from? The top is from high school years. Poor cheese never got a makeover. Oh, it's I not made over my sim yet. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I, I might have forgotten to make over one of my sim siblings. I might have to go do that. What sort of shoes should she wear? Hmm. Check orientation. Oh, I totally don't ever look at that. I always just, <laughs> that's so bad. I always just ignore it. I'm not, I'm still not used to it. Yeah, we're fine. Hmm. Um, the cat flats since, I don't know, that's a good idea. But I'm still, I'm still so unused to the orientation settings. At least on like randomized townies, you know? I'm still not certain that randomized townies even have different ones. Hmm. Check how long Grave has left, please. I think that Grave um, has like, oh, those ones seem okay. I don't know. Cause people say like, I've run into some, but I feel like, I don't think that the randomized townies I don't know. They do sometimes run into a couple, really? I don't know. Ooh. You think Wonderful Whims and MC Command Center have settings to make the random. Oh, maybe it's a mod thing. And it's not by default. Is that what it is? Cause I think that all randomized townies only have the default settings. Ooh with like just by standard in game at least um do you want to pick out a pretty dress oh i like this one i think the purple is nice we don't really need a prom dress though because well we already had prom <laughs> we've already been Ooh. to prom <laughs> Kind of wish it was randomized if it wasn't already. You know, that's really interesting because I feel like I've heard, um, I feel like I hear really conflicting things on that because I think that on one hand, a lot of people don't want it to be randomized for sake of like, have it, is she there for the cat cam? Oh, I didn't even notice. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't want it to be randomized for like the ability to, to have more say in their game um, and how like by default, pretty much any Sim will date anyone. Um, and they don't want it to that to be changed. They want everyone to just be able to date everyone by default. And then some people want randomized settings. I don't really know what the right answer to that is because different people have such different preferences with it, you know? Um, but, um, Let's see, maybe we can wear a little matching set from spa day. Are those spa day sweatpants not classes sleepwear? Why? Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Um, party wear, honestly, kind of like it already. I actually think it's kind of cute. I like those, those pants. Swimwear. Um, maybe we can wear one that I don't usually use. I never use this one. This could be kind of fun. I like the green actually. Um, who is she? Oh, this is a Sim that my legacy Sim met. I'm considering dating them. I'm not sure. We'll see. We shall see. 
Um, hot weather. Maybe we could wear like, I like that. Maybe we could wear this in like a little skirt again. I'm spending more time in cat. Oh, I like that though. Oh, that's cute. I'm spending more time in cast than I wanted to. <laughs> I didn't mean to spend this much time in Cass. Um, oh, I don't like that top. I want like a cute coat. I don't think I've ever seen that from university. Oh, I didn't know that it had that swatch. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe we could wear like... Um... I think she might wear something like this. Any sort of jeans, maybe? I like these. Those are quite cute. Save? Well, I can't save right now, Swifty, because I'm in cast. So we have to wait till we're out of cast to be able to save the game, unfortunately. Um, but once we're done, which is now, we can, oops. Um, cat. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Ruby and Goth, Agatha, and Faye, and Poet, and Caleb, thank you for the subs. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why we have to name the breed like that. It's kind of annoying when it tries to, like, not let me out of cast. But we'll see. I don't know why I said that. I'm just waiting for it to load. I'm trying to kill time while I wait. <laughs> I'm still not sure. I need to like look at Hugh again and see if I wanna, I don't know. Check mod hangout. Oh no, did something scary happen? Okay. <laughs> the memes continue. Um, thanks to Mivyard. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is too, MC Goddess. I think it's a glitch with the, like, randomized mixed, like, pets. Um, where they don't have a technical breed name. Okay. Um, would you like to get to know Lori? Oh, we actually are kind of friends already. I'm gonna be honest. That, the, the, um... The, the social interactions support like so-and-so's body hair. Every time I see it, it always like surprises me. Cause could you imagine your like first time talking to someone and then they're like discussing your body hair, even in a positive light, it's like, well, why'd you bring that up? <laughs> like, what is such a, it's such an odd thing to bring up in The Sims, you know? Like, no matter what, even if you mean it as a compliment, it is like a weird, it's like a weirdly personal thing to be like, oh, I love your body hair. Th thank you? Like, <laughs> please, please don't discuss my body hair, actually. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> How do you even respond to that? Chicks <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think that I would take that well Mercury if someone said that to me in real life. Safe, <laughs> no, it's a Sims interaction, Ferret. We're, we're discussing how it's a Sims interaction, but I always think it feels weird. Wait, let me see what is where is it? Uh, keep going. Support Lori's body hair. Why are you bringing it up? <laughs> Do we know when infants are coming? Yeah, next Tuesday, the 14th, they're coming. Um, okay. Well, they get along pretty well. I haven't gonna earn the good manners trait. Okay. I might work on this next. Lori loves the outdoors. We can keep talking while I'm doing this. Should I flirt with her or is, am I not a cheater? I don't think I don't think that Blaze is a cheater. Blaze might be evil, but I don't think Blaze is a cheater. Right? 
I just like that feels he's too proper to cheat. Yeah. He's a loyal evil. <laughs> he got the crush pop up, did he? <gasps> Wowie, that sim is irresistible. Blaze is a major crush on Lori. <gasps> Don't you also have a crush on Oh my god. She's deeply connected to me, and I have a crush on her. <gasps> Uh-oh. I think I also have a crush on Hugh. And we're both resentful because we didn't invite each other to prom. Okay, well that's no good. Oh, we have a crush on both of us. <laughs> or both of them, I mean. I, she doesn't have a crush on me, though. It's one-sided. Hmm. Maybe he is a cheater? No! I, if I'm gonna try and flirt with Lori, I'll break up with you. I, I won't cheat on you. I don't think that's... That's not right. Noosh, noosh. <laughs> honestly, them breaking up over not being invited by the other to prom, honestly, seems like the kind of thing that would happen. Yeah, we can just be friends with Lori for now. Do you know what? Honestly, being friends with Lori is kind of fun. Because we can have this, like, besties arc, you know? Thank you. And we can be best friends for a long time. And then... <laughs> Making date. Yeah, the crush thing goes away, Miv. It just takes a while. Oh, we flirted with Sawyer as well. How old is Lori? Teen, 19 out of 21. Oh, she's gonna age up before us as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, we'll finish the project, then we can take a picture with her. Maybe I'll- maybe I'll keep dating Hugh throughout all of high school. And then maybe we can date Lori when we're a little bit older. Although, that's- it depends how timing is going, because I really want for Blaze to have kids when the infant update is out. I want to be, like, ready to have a baby for the infant update. So... We need to think about who we want to have kids with and when we're going to be ready for that. Blaze ages up in eight days, so we're not quite ready yet. Okay, I finished my project quickly. Let's take some selfies with Lori. Okay. <laughs> I can't take some selfies with Lori. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Show off muscles? Tell unbelievable story? I don't know. Hmm. I'll just keep talking to her. We'll be best friends. Two infants, that'll be interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to have twins. It's gonna be horrible. Okay. I'm probably just gonna go make some food now. Work on the cooking skill. Um... Would you like to serve dinner? Grilled cheese, maybe? Is the dog okay? Oh! Forgot, I gotta teach the dog to go potty. There you go. Sorry, little one. You ready? Ask to go potty. You ready? Good, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna give my son Cheddar a makeover as well. I just don't want to. I just don't care to be in Cass. I've done enough. I've done enough Cass. It's fine. I'll do it again. That'll be kind of fun, you're right, Marisa, to see like how the infants oh, interact with each other. Oh, that's right. He's gloomy and lactose intolerant. Well, that's good. Um... I don't know what hair to use. Maybe we could do like... No, I still wanna have cheese hair for my sim named Cheddar. Hmm. Oh, what swatch of this is yellowy? That's not good. That one kinda has like yellow and purple vibes though. Is there anything kind of fun we want to try? Uh, 
Oh, the default one. That one's kind of cool. Should we try that? I don't know. I think I like that one, to be honest. Right? Oh, annoyingly, I can't really get the eyebrows the right color, but that's fine. Should've been Blaze's hair. I feel like Blaze, I don't really wanna do like a <laughs> colorful hair. Obviously his hair is orange, but it's not like that, you know? Cause in my head, Blaze is like very, like proper. Blaze wears like like a suit all the time. Like he's just I don't like you know he's he's such a formal person. I feel like he's not interested in dyeing his hair, you know? Not that like formal people can't dye their hair, but do you know what I'm trying to say? Like I don't think that he would want to. It's kind of my thought on it at least. Um Colors, orange. Oh, this is kind of cute. Maybe you could wear that one. And then, I like that with the hair as well, because it has like a little bit of yellow. There's not that many orange shoes though. Ooh. Annoyingly. Makes it very difficult for me. Uh, how about if we did like, no, don't like those. Don't really like those either. Those ones are kind of ugly. Maybe I'll just wear these. Maybe just these will be fine. These overalls are from the Carnival kit. Um, formal. I don't really care. White Converse with fun socks. Oh, that's better. Wait. Good idea. Uh, colors. White. Do we have a lot of fun socks? I guess we have some tall socks, but huh. I don't really want to use like, we could do some yellow ones. Michelle, Lay, spicy, thank you for the subs. <laughs> okay, um, full body outfits. Maybe you could wear, I guess all your siblings wear that. Maybe you could wear this. I wouldn't really class this as being orange, but whatever. Ooh. It's It's got orange in it, right? This has got orange in it. That's fine. He's a teen. Oh, I know you can't see his traits because my cat's covering it, but he's a teen. Um, okay, uh, how about we just do like a... No, don't like that. I don't care about create a sim. I don't want to spend time in create a sim. Like, I want to be out of create a sim. I just like don't have any interest in cast. How about pizza? I like pizza. Mm, white t-shirt. Party wear. Mm, don't really know what to make you wear. Are there any orange pants? What are Blaze's traits? So my sim Blaze the Air uh, is currently uh, glutton and evil, but we're gonna have to get one more trait once we get older. The the legacy challenge traits for Not So Berry are like set for the airs at least. Uh, the other sims I usually randomize. So um, I put the rules in the chat there, but we also have to get the self-assured trait once he gets to be a young adult. This is his little brother, huh. not the legacy air. Colors, orange. Huh. Those are orange leather pants. Huh. I've never used those, but I'm reaching a point where I feel like I have to use every sort of item that we have in this game. This is kind of a disaster. Party wear. Nothing goes with orange leather pants. Nothing. Hmm. Huh. Don't like that. Oh my god. Kayla, no, please. <laughs> no, I know, it's horrible. I don't know. Look, listen. 
I've had to dress four sims in all orange. There's only so much you can do. There's only so much of this that you can take. I've used everything. Uh, I want something that has like maybe some pattern to it. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You think white? We could do white. Ooh. I think it would look good. I've literally never used these pants before. Never. Um, no, I don't like that. I actually kind of liked the... Um, there's a reason you've never used these pants before. Yeah, maybe. But look, when are we gonna wear the party outfit? We're not gonna wear the party outfit, so it doesn't... <gasps> Wait a minute. That's kind of fun. I actually kind of like that. It sort of ties it together, yeah. Okay. Hmm. How does that top match the pants? It actually works really well. <laughs> I don't know. I've worn like every, I, I've used all of these things before. Literally all of them, all of them. Uh -huh. Any pair of orange shorts, done it. We have so many orange dress sims. Um, should I do orange pants again or no? I don't really like those. Huh. Let me think about a different orange shirt and then we can go from there. There's a bunch of these that I've never used. I don't know if I've used that swatch before. This one's got watermelon. It's not very orange though. It's more like peachy. I don't like that one. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think about that arch. I guess the next generation is pink, though. So we I don't think we'll struggle to find pink outfits for the infants. Because I feel like pink pink's not going to be too hard to come by. I understand the fear, though. It is definitely a concern. Like, are we going to have enough outfits that match the color scheme? But I think, I think with pink for the next generation, it should be fine. I don't really like this. Everything is pink and cast, yeah. <laughs> Basically everything is pink and creative, so I'm not too worried about it. I like these shorts, maybe. No, pink's not the last one. We have peach, green, and blue after pink as well. Um, maybe I'll wear these again with some little orange socks. Huh. I think I had those, that's yellow. That's fine, I don't care. I don't care. I need to be done in Cass. It's too much. Did you save blue for last so you could finish with the perfect blue suburban? Do you know what? Not intentionally, but it works out. Whoa. I think we should wear this. I actually kind of like it. I think it's kind of good. Where did Cheddar go? <laughs> Where did the wasn't there a sim there a second ago? Wow, what a weird glitch. I can't even see them. I actually kind of like it. It looks cool with Cheddar's hair as well. Okay, that works for me. I'm into it. I'm into it. Cool. All right. And then, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That's true, Bubonic. I think it'll be an interesting challenge with the Peach Generation. <laughs> they named a type of cheese after a Sim? Yeah, I know, can you believe it? They named a new kind of cheese, Cheddar, after my Sim.
Uh-huh. <laughs> Tara, uh, Trippador, and Katie, and Freezy, and Shady, and Ashley, thank you for the subs. Yeah, we're gonna play Among Us this month. I think towards the end of the month, though, Han, because with the Sims pack, the new expansion pack coming out, I think a lot of us are gonna be kind of um, too excited simming to have any interest in, in playing Among Us yet. <laughs> So we're gonna play Among Us probably towards the end of March, because um, the expansion pack comes out in the middle of the week. So, oh, I gotta save the game. Good. Very good. And then, I don't know. We'll see after that. I can't work on Blaze's aspiration until we get older. I guess what I can do is maybe try and do some of these wishes. Eat food. Extinguish a fire. Be mean to someone. Okay. I can do that. Who should I be mean to? Nobody's walking by. It's annoying. I also want to embrace Hugh. Maybe I'll invite Hugh over. We haven't seen Hugh in a while. I'm not gonna be mean to the dog. What is wrong with you? How could you even suggest that? Unbelievable. Break up with Hugh? I think I'm gonna keep dating Hugh a little bit longer. I don't think I'm ready to break up. I might be mean to him though, just for a second. He will be right over, okay. I'm probably gonna play with the dog for a sec while I wait. Oh no, never mind. Hugh's right there. Um, funny. Did I know that my house is gonna be used in the trailer? Well, they did use my house in the trailer, Redheaded. Um, they used my house in, uh, the live stream. Obviously they changed it a bunch, but they did use my house in the live stream. They didn't use my house in the trailer, though. Um... I was mean. But I'm gonna want to embrace you after that. Hurry up. Maybe I'll embrace Hugh first and then be mean. Just in case he doesn't want to embrace me after I'm mean. Mean, give the cold shoulder. Please, I just wanna get these little wants done. You also wanna relieve yourself and become enemies with Anya, okay. That seems a little ridiculous. Isn't Cheddar lactose intolerant and he's eating grilled cheese? Oh my god. I didn't tell Cheddar to eat cheese. That wasn't very smart of them. Why are- like, why are- Why have you done that? Okay, I was mean again. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Oh, can't use that bathroom. There's somebody in there. Oops, didn't even see. Oh no. What else do you want to do? Listen to electronica music. Okay, well, we're probably just gonna go to bed, actually, so. <laughs> All right. Okay, go to sleep. Everyone go to sleep. I would like to have a nice, peaceful evening. Okay. Good. Good. Everyone, are we ready? Yes? Okay. Go to bed. What are you doing? Oh my god, Sims are not very smart, are they? Okay, you're using the bathroom. You can probably finish eating in the morning. It's, oh, Hugh finally left. Oh no, Hugh is actually talking to ghosts in my front yard. That's weird. I'll see if I can send the ghosts away. There's too many. Honestly, I'll try and send Hugh away. See, oh, Hugh was really oh, cute, oh, though. Sure, sure. So you're all oh, saying, like, oh, dump it. Hugh. But the thing is, it's not that easy. He was a very cute sim. So it's really hard to decide what to do about this. Should I go into Cass and look at Hugh? Just to remind you? Yes. <laughs> Here for Lil Simsy and Rudin and Bandana and Pika and Lo and French and Abby. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. 
Okay. Look at Hugh's got a nice big family. So cute. Oh, and Hugh has a twin brother, literally identical to him. Kind of scary. But Hugh is adventurous and a bookworm, and he has the Zen guru aspiration. Um, and he's very cute. So, I don't know. <laughs> Rainbow, thank you for the 22 months. Oh, can the science babies use three sims? I don't, well, they didn't show that, Nimbus. I assume it's probably just two sims still, the science baby thing in the update. Um, but they didn't show or say, but I would guess it's probably just two. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mary Hugh and have science babies? We could do that. I mean, you can have science babies with anybody. But yeah, that's gonna be in the base game update, fam, yeah. Uh, they showed that off in the live stream. It's coming out in the update next week, next Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Don't you need twins? Oh! Oh. Yeah, I don't know if we could do the science baby thing, because I don't know how to force twins with science babies. Maybe we could do that with the next generation instead, because then we don't have to worry about, like, definitely having to have twins. They said that you can have twins, but, like, I don't know how to force it. Because it's like too fast, it happens instantly, you know? So that's probably better for the next generation than for this one. Because we need to have twins. I guess it's like not that big of a deal. You could probably just have two or whatever. But I kind of want to have twins. Oh, and do you know what else? Do you know what else? I think I'd like to throw a, like a baby shower party for my pregnant sim. I think you could do it at any time. They don't have to be pregnant to do it, but... I feel like maybe we should play through pregnancy for for this generation, you know? Just because it like it's probably gonna be fun. I think we're all excited about science babies, but I also wanna see the new pregnancy stuff. So Yeah, and the next generation, the pink generation, is gonna be unflirty, right? So that'll be kind of fun. So we can do that, that we can do that with the pink generation. Okay. I like that idea. I think that's a better plan. Okay. Good talk, everybody. <laughs> I think that makes sense, though. Um, all right. Would you like to go to sleep, maybe? They actually, Coffee, they said that it is possible to have twins, like, randomly with the science baby stuff. Um, but we're saying we don't know if you can, like, force it. Because, you know, we know how to, like, cheat for twins with pregnancies, and we know how to, like, um, make twins more likely with lot traits and stuff, but I don't know if you can, I don't know how to do that with the science baby stuff, because we haven't, like, do it doesn't exist yet, so, um, anyway. <laughs> Nave and Brianna and Ice Cream and Bentley and Welsh and Rainbow, thank you for the subs, Nave, thank you for the gifted subs. Um, yeah, and in case you guys didn't know, uh, when they showed the science babies on stream, um, it, like, basically happens instantly. So the way that we know how to cheat twins is like, cause you have a pregnancy, you can like use MZ command center to cheat it and you have time. But like it's, it's instant with the science baby. So I don't know. I don't know. All right, would you go back to bed please? Yeah, the unflirty trait came with city living, right? It's similar to adopting in that it happens like instantly. Yeah. Um, but it's like a genetically related to you baby. Um, and you don't, like, they don't, like, already have a name and stuff. Um, but it's very similar to how adoption works, and it's a little bit more expensive than adoption in-game. So, obviously we haven't, we haven't actually played with it yet, because it doesn't exist yet, but once, like, that's what we saw in the stream, so. Um, okay. Okay. For fear of unfulfilled dreams, are you seriously crying? about that? Stop. Oh, take shower. Take shower. 
That's interesting, Fish, yeah. I, I'm really um, excited about the idea of the science babies thing because um, you all know that I really like in my legacy challenges to have like genetic babies. Um, I think it's kind of fun to have like, to see what they look like, you know, and like as the generations go on. Um, so I, like that's my preference when I'm playing legacy challenges. And so it'll be really nice to have the science baby thing because this, like, I usually just like make it so that my sims can get each other pregnant. Like normally I'll just like have one sim in the couple, even in same sex couples, just carry the pregnancy. Um, but like not, you don't always want that to happen, <laughs> you know, like, um, so I, I don't know. Uh, it's definitely, uh, I'm glad to have that. It's going to be really nice for, for a lot of different reasons. So, um, do you want to finish mopping all of that for me? Oop, you're in a bad mood. You're in a bad mood. Get leftovers. Mandolin, thank you for the 35 months. Um. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop mopping outside. Oh, the dog pooped on the patio. Oh, speaking of the dog, I should probably see if I can get here. Do you want to ask the dog to go potty? Wake up. Wake up. Okay. Um, I don't know, what should we do now? Do you wanna come eat? You've got school. Oh, do I have no food in the fridge? Oh no, oh my God, we have no food in the fridge. Okay, time to cook. Time to cook, serve breakfast, pancakes. How did that happen? Oh my God, we have so many Sims. There's no food. Yeah, science babies don't force pregnancy. They're adding this basically deadly sins as a way for you to like have a baby without pregnancy, you know, um, for for sims that, you know, wouldn't or don't want to get pregnant or whatever. Um, you can use it to tell any sort of story, like an IVF story, a surrogacy story. You can kind of do it like that, but there's it doesn't like take three days. It's instant because it's science. It's magic. <laughs> I can't really answer too many questions about it, obviously, because we haven't really seen it. All I'm set repeating is what they showed us in the stream. And it was like a couple minute segment of the live stream. So we don't really know that much. Um, if you have any like specific questions, we, we don't really know yet. Um, we just saw what they did in the live stream, so. Um, no, it doesn't replace adoption. You can still adopt and, well, I assume. I guess they haven't said, but I, why would it? I don't think it would replace adoption. That makes no sense. Um, so it doesn't take the place of adoption. It's just another thing if you wanted to do that instead. Um, it's just a it's just a nice new thing for players who want it, you know? You don't have to use it. It doesn't have to replace anything. Um, but, okay. Does science be like an uncomfy term or is it a me problem? I don't, um, I guess I can see maybe what you mean by that, but I think that their intention with that wording is to make it as like, neutral as possible. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they're trying to make it like it has like a little bit of silly Sims vibes and then uh, it's it's completely neutral for whatever purpose you want to use it for, you know? Um, and it has like the kind of like, oh, it's magic because it's the Sims, the magic of science, <laughs> you know? I, I think that's their intention though, is to just make it like sound very neutral and also silly Sim-like and stuff, you know? Um, so I, I think that I like the wording of it. I don't know what they could have called it otherwise. Um, okay, I think all the kids are at school. Let's see if we can cook a little bit more. <laughs> Do you want to serve breakfast? Fruit and yogurt parfait. Make some more dairy in this house for all the sibs who are lactose intolerant. How about that? Um, Aren't we getting a stair railing update too? That is a rumor that's been spread around on Twitter. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't know. I had the game. I did builds for it. Technically, I built that house. Let me see if I can scroll back to it. Um, I didn't do that. <laughs> did they confirm it? The gurus confirmed it's a fix. Really? Cause I was gonna say, when I built that, I did not. I don't know. Morgan tweeted about it. Can we get a link to that tweet? So I can show people. Cause I, that's what I was gonna say. When I saw people tweet about it yesterday, I was like, I genuinely, like I don't, I did not see that in game. It's not a fix fix, it'll be better. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. 
didn't belly tweet about it. Well, that's the thing. It's possible that it was in the game when I had early access to the game and I just didn't notice. Or like Deli's repeating what someone on a Sim Guru said. But I'll show you. Hold on. I'm waiting for a um, a, a mod uh, to send me the link. There we go. Thank you, Christine. Um, so there was... Uh, in the live stream, people were noticing how the staircase... I could probably show you in this house first. Um, people were noticing how... Uh, you know how like sometimes the staircases, the railing like clips through the wall? Um, so I have to get one that is sort of obvious. Oh, there we go. That's a good example. You know how sometimes you have these weird issues with the, the railing clipping through the wall? Um, people were noticing how it wasn't like that this part wasn't there in the live stream and stuff. Um, so they were kind of discussing like, oh, maybe it's, um, maybe they fixed it. Like, did they update that so that we can do it now? Um, this is a screenshot of what they had noticed. You can see the staircase isn't in the wall there in the stream. Morgan said, I think there is a partial fix for this with the patch where it still happens in some cases, but is better overall as you're seeing here. We're still working on getting it to work exactly as desired. It's a tricky one. So that's really interesting. So it's not like fix fixed, but it sounds like they're like working on improving it to be less clippy, which is good. That's a relief. Um, but yeah, I don't think that... Um, Railings are still applied to stairs together. No ability to set individually. This fix hides one side when it works. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that's that's what we needed to know basically. Cause it doesn't, um, so it won't like let you apply it one side like people want, but it is gonna help fix the clipping. So this is the thing. When people were tweeting like they changed the railings, you can put it on one side. I was like, huh? <laughs> so they didn't, they didn't do that, but they did make it so it's less clippy. So that's good. And I'm glad to see that they're working on it. Like, I'm glad that they're like seeing the, that it's happening, you know? So that's a relief. Um, and it's still like a work in progress. Like they're obviously like admitting like, hey, we're working on fixing it and stuff. I don't know, I think that's, it's nice to hear that they like see it and they're working on it and like acknowledging how it's still not done. But anyway, I'm glad to see that bug fix. It's so annoying. The railings are so annoying. So um, that'll be a relief. <laughs> to say the least, that'll be a big relief. Um, but yeah, also if you guys don't follow, if you're on Twitter at all and you don't follow the Sim Gurus, you probably should follow Sim Guru Morgan in particular. Just a lot of the Sim Gurus that have been tweeting about the pack a lot recently, because um, they answer so many questions. It's oh, I put that twice by accident. Didn't mean to. Um, but that's a it's a nice follow. So. But that's what they mean. Anyway, that answers my question. Because I saw this thing happening on Twitter, this discussion of it happening on Twitter. People, like, assumed that it meant they made it so you could do it on just one side. And in my head, the past two days, I've been like, there's literally no way that they added that and I didn't notice. And they didn't. So that makes sense. <laughs> but I was like, I, t I, I don't think that was in my game. Like, I was telling my mods yesterday. I was like, I don't think that that's true. Like, I, I swear to you, I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, very interesting. <laughs> Glad to see they're working on fixing it. Okay, we'll do some more cooking. Shall we? <laughs> yeah, it'd be great if we could do one railing at a time. That would be huge. It's just really, like, this one isn't that bad, but it's just so annoying with it clipping. So. Um. But. With regards to early access, who gets that? Is it streamers, YouTubers, and people who can market it, or is it people who have pre-ordered the pack? That's a good question, Phil. So there's no public early access. Um, there's no public early access, like for people who pre-order the pack or anything. Everyone who uh, buys the pack gets the pack when it comes out. There's no, um, there's no, like early for everyone kind of vibes. Um, I asked Simguru Frost. <laughs> earlier uh am I allowed to talk about early access slash what can I say and he said sure smiley face which does not give me a lot of room here so I don't know but basically um the sims team in the past has done like special early access for creators um specifically like creators that have um I I, I don't want to say like a big reach but I think that's what they kind of aim for 
and it's like a smaller group of maybe like 100 people that get like a temporary early access. Um, and this is sort of in place of how back in the day they used to fly people to their studios in California to play the pack early. Um, then COVID happens, so they don't do that anymore, obviously. Um, but they would give you like a temporary early access at home where we would get like a second version of the game in our EA library. So I would have like The Sims 4 and then like The Sims 4 special build that has just the base game and the pack and we could play that for a few days. I don't have that yet. Um, this early access is way later than normal. I will get that, um, and then I can make a couple videos on it and then post about it when the embargo lifts, but I'll tell you the embargo is way closer to when the pack comes out than normal. Um, but uh, we'll get temporary early access and we can post about it then. So, <laughs> uh, but I don't have it now to answer your question and not everybody like, not like, like regular people like that just buy the game don't get an early access like you do. Hi Frost. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> That's really funny that you were here. Um, but yeah, so that hopefully answers your question. Um, but anyway, when does the embargo lift? I don't know if I can say that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Frost, when is the embargo? <laughs> I know, but I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> um, okay, but anyway, I felt, I, like, this is why I asked, um, this is why I asked uh, Frost about it, because I was like, people, I've been seeing people asking me literally all day. I think that a lot of people assume that I already have early access, so I've kind of been like, I don't really know what I can say. <laughs> I don't really know what I can say. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, there we go. But anyway, I don't have it right now, so. <laughs> okay, my sim will take a shower. And then I'll put my yogurt away. Royalty report, books, my husband is dead. 13 smolians. cool. <laughs> Kayla will have content for y'all starting at March 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I can tell you, <laughs> so I can first post early access videos on March 13th. Um, there you go. See, I've known that, but I didn't know if I could say, <laughs> so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Confirmation directly from the source. Uh, but yeah, we can post early access on March 13th, so uh, that's next Monday, next Monday, so yay. Um, and I'll post that day, um, I'm gonna post the video that I made on the, um, like, the builds that I did. That's the first video I'll post, is the builds that I did for the pack. So, I made a video where I, like, showed you the process and the behind the scenes of all the builds that I did. Um, that one I've made, because <laughs> that was from a few months ago, so that I can post on Monday. So that's, pretty, that's quite cool. Um, and then we can talk about it on stream that day. We can, like, chat so much. I can answer all your questions, so I can speak about it then, so. Um, that'll be super cool. So, yay! <laughs> yay! Is there gonna be a countdown for the infants update? Do you know what? I bet a bunch of people will have countdowns going online. I'm probably not gonna do like a countdown countdown because I'm gonna, the first thing I'll do when the infant update comes out is make a YouTube video. So <laughs> I can't be like live counting down because I gotta <laughs> film a video, you know? Uh, but like Sims community probably will do an, a countdown. I wouldn't be surprised if, if he had a countdown go up probably soon. Because he usually does a countdown for when the packs are coming out and stuff, so. Um, but that's how that works. <laughs> okay, let me finish doing some more cooking while we're here. It's already up. Oh, is Sims community's countdown already up? That's what I was going to say. I wouldn't be surprised. At least in the next like few days, he probably would put one up, so. What time will the infant update come out? So normally, they, they haven't said exactly what time it'll be, but to tell you how it normally goes, um, in the past, the updates pretty much always come out at one o'clock Eastern time. Um, so that's six o'clock in the UK, if you guys are familiar with either of those time zones, if it's closer to you. Um, they usually come out at that time. I don't know if that's the case with this one. They haven't said, but it's a pretty safe bet. Um, because that's like literally always when it happens, like without fail, one o'clock p.m. for pretty much every update we've ever had. <laughs> so um, I would really expect it then, to be honest. But I don't know. They haven't. They haven't confirmed. They have said. Did they tell? Did they say it's gonna be one o'clock Eastern time? Or did we say that? Because <laughs> I don't think they usually confirm a time. 
but I don't, maybe they did and I didn't see. Um, but yeah, it's, it's probably going to be um, at that time on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, not tomorrow. Um, the reason why devs hate giving exact timings is because if something goes wrong. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking. I, I feel like that's obviously like what they're aiming for because they always do. And that's the goal. <laughs> but like, you know, if, if it doesn't, then they've never said that it would, you know? So that's, that's one of those things. Um, so they probably would never say, but we can guess based on the past experiences, you know? And that's probably what they're planning for. But um, that'll be it to my time on vacation. What will I do all day? That's what I've been thinking. I've been sat here like, what am I gonna do all day on that day? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna be sitting at my computer waiting for the update to come out. <laughs> We're like sat refreshing Twitter. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> Everybody's gonna be sat there waiting. Waiting. Oh. Anyway. 7 p.m. for you to wait all day? Oh god. I'm sorry. That is horrible. At least... You know, at least in that case, in that time zone, at least you're like, most of you will be home from work and school and stuff. Cause a lot of these folks are gonna be at school or at work when the update comes out. And they're gonna be sat there refreshing Twitter, staring at it, being like, oh my God, I'm not getting home until six, <laughs> you know? So at least, at least um, it's, you know, the end of the day, right? You can eat dinner, you'll be ready. And then as soon as it gets out, you'll be there. <laughs> Considering taking the day off, I think you should take the next day off because it'll def you'll have it all day, you know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I know a lot of people have been thinking about that. I also know a lot of you have spring break that week, which is so lucky. So lucky. You requested the 16th off work, yeah. <laughs> Give a few classes to play. Listen, 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 listen. I'm so with you on that. Here's the thing. Not that Lil Simsy encourages skipping class, but in 10 years, are you gonna remember what they taught you in class that day? No. Will you remember skipping class to play the infant update? Absolutely. Cause that's gonna be a big day. I don't know. It's one class. <laughs> it's just one class. If you've got like a test or something, don't skip, but listen. Live a little, you know? <laughs> I probably would have, so. <laughs> okay, um. Do you want to, oh, your social is low. Oh, oops. Here, wait, maybe you guys can woohoo and fix it. Woohoo with Bran. Have you skipped class for that exact reason though? Yeah. I skipped class um, when the Cats and Dogs trailer came out. I was making a video on it, but I skipped class when the Cats and Dogs trailer came out. You know, just the trailer. Yeah, but I make YouTube content on it. So, did you skip classes often? I don't think I skipped class often, no. <laughs> but look, when you get into college, you realize that some classes are more important than others. You know? And some days are more important than others. And some professors, there's, like, class is not, like, it's a waste of time if it's, like, all just readings, you know? Like, so, um, I don't know. That, I realize that sounds bad, but... <laughs> it's just how life goes. <laughs> Obviously learning is important and going to school is important, but... Um, prioritize your life and your time, you know? I'm not encouraging you to skip class often. My God, don't, t don't twist my words like that. <laughs> but like, I had a couple absolutely miserable classes where my professor literally, all of the tests and all of the work that we did was purely based on readings and we get into class and she'd be like what should we talk about today and then just talk literally completely compl biggest waste of time 
ever. It was the it was the worst class I ever had. Like there, it just, every time I went, and I had to go because she did pop quizzes. Biggest waste of time that I've ever been in. I would sit there for an hour and a half and just be like, oh my god, I don't have to be here. Like there's no reason to. I'm not gaining anything from this, you know. Um. Anyway, that's the sh that's unfortunate, but <laughs> that's just how it works sometimes. <laughs> um. I would go there, I'd bring my laptop, I'd work on other classes work sometimes in that class. Cause literally she would talk about nothing and I'm not exaggerating. She would talk about absolutely nothing. And I got like perfect, I would get like perfect scores on her exams. Cause all I did, I would read the assignment that she would give us, but then you come into class and she would talk about like, it was a philosophy class. Um, but she literally, like she would talk about nothing. One time for like half the class, she was telling us about her backyard and like some of the yard work that she was doing and like some of the plants she was putting. And I'm here at like, it was, it was, the class was at five o'clock as well. Like it was kind of late. I did not like being there that late. I'm here listening. I like, you're a nice lady, but <laughs> you know, was that in college? Yeah, it was in my freshman year of college. But you hated your philosophy professor too, did you? Yeah, no, she was very nice, and I did great in her class. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> it's dinner time, and you're wasting my time. Yeah, seriously. <sighs> But anyway, it was fascinating. Fascinating class. I learned so much. <laughs> um, your professor said if you had any grammar or spelling mistakes in a paper, immediate F. This is what I don't understand. I, that makes no sense to me. That makes absolutely no sense to me. What, like, why are we? It's like not, it's not that deep. <laughs> I can't believe that. Class. <sighs> School is wild. Some some teachers are wild about stuff like that too. The way that they act like their class is the most important thing in the entire world. It is not that deep. It's like you hear all these stories about people that have these like, you know, horrible things going on in their real life and the teacher is like, oh, you know, somebody in your family died? Too bad. You can't, you can't skip class for the funeral. Show me, like, an obituary. Oh, still can't skip class for the funeral. Like, you're, like, ruining people's lives over stuff like this. Like, they're never gonna remember. You're, they're never gonna remember what happened on that random Tuesday in class, but they will always remember how horrible you were and how bad you made them feel in such a bad time in their life, you know? Like you're, the way that you're like, this is the hill you're going to die on. You're just causing so much pain for people for no reason. It makes no sense. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? And these people, these kids are like 19. Come on. See, Christine, that makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. Yeah, I'm really sorry that happened to you. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> Fill the bowl. <gasps> Frost, do you want to see my dog? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. To preface this, this is the most amazing dog I've ever seen in The Sims 4. You don't understand. You actually don't understand. I'm gonna zoom in on some screenshots so that you get the full picture. Are you ready? I've never been so happy 
happy about anything in my entire life. This dog is the greatest Sims pet I have ever had. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh, Pope learned to pee outside. Good. Oh, don't pee your pants. Uh-oh. Pretty soon Blaze is gonna learn how to pee outside. <laughs> okay, use the bathroom. Anyway, obsessed with this dog. Obsessed with this dog. I adopted Pulp. I didn't even make them. She was just there in the list. And I was like, wow, that is an ugly dog. And I was right. Ugh. Extinguish the fire! Extinguish the fire! Extinguish the fire! Oh my god. So inconvenient. Go. Okay, well, you saved pulp at least, so that was smart. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Me and Dee, thank you for the was both of you. Why is that toilet always burning? Because I upgraded it to have the composting container upgrade. Um, so. Anyway. <laughs> oh, after this, what was I gonna do? Ooh, make an enemy, rummage in trash, have some fun. Yeah, I was gonna play with pulp, see if I could get my fun up. Oh, maybe I'll like lecture about drinking from puddle and scold from drinking from puddle. And then we can play. Shall we? <laughs> can you finish eating that like faster at all? Maybe? Hurry up. How many graves do I have? Oh, 214. Thank you. Do you want to see them? Slowly, I have filled up this entire section. <laughs> Do you see this? It's gonna be the entire front yard. I'm gonna keep it going all the way back here. And you wonder why this house lags? No, I don't get it. Why do I have lag problems sometimes? It makes no sense. <laughs> what could be causing it? What, what could be the issue? I. I don't see anything. Yeah, 214 is after the second hunt. I did, um, I made a YouTube video where I went hunting for more of them, so. Things have gone very well. Okay, how many days till you age up? Seven? Oh, you take forever. Okay, put the donuts away. Maybe I'll bake like one more thing before we go to school. Go to sleep before school. Ooh, minty mocha cupcakes. Yeah, we can still get to the pond. Don't worry, I tested it. <laughs> okay, I will get rid of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, do you wanna go to sleep? That's one, that's two, you are three, okay. How many days do you have left? Six. Oh, he's gonna die soon. Well, that's gonna suck. He's lived literally forever. Did you see how he had 34 bonus days? Yeah. It's because he has the, um, oh, so many traits. He has the long live trait from finishing the fitness aspiration. So he's literally never gonna die. He's been around forever. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna pee your pants? Okay, go to here, quick, quick. You vote kill grave? <gasps> That's bad. Why, why are you waking me up? Okay. Do you want a hug? Maybe? I'm not gonna kill Grave. Chat, you are a bad influence. Like, go live on March 13th to show off early access? Yeah, Mrs. Beaver, so- Ooh, look at the dog. Wow. 
so with early access like that, um, I'm, I won't have like access. Why are you in the floor? Oh, okay. I won't have access to the pack actively to show you, but I'll have footage. So much like we've done in the past, I'll have like um, a few hours of footage that I have recorded and we'll go over it on stream. So like in the past, I've done things like I filmed a world tour and I filmed a build and buy overview and a cast overview and we like, I film some gameplay stuff and we look at all of that and discuss it and I try and answer questions on stream because I can't like physically play it on that first day because I don't have the pack to show you. Um, but we'll do like a footage stream like we've done for all the other packs like this. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, that's how we'll, that's how we'll do it. Um, oh my God, this house is so haunted. Ah, sleep. Sleep. You don't get early access? No, Miranda, we do have early access, but it's like a temporary thing like we've had in the past. So I'll have, um, it's like temporary pre the pack coming out. So, um, just like how it's always happened, you know? Okay. Sort of like as a replacement for how back in the day before COVID, they used to fly some people out to play the pack early. Um, it's like a limited period of early access before the pack comes out. Um, and it'll have, you know how sometimes when we've done that, when that's happened, there's like the watermark floating on the screen. It'll be like that. Okay. From lack of ocean activities. Are you serious? That's so dramatic. Yeah, Nick, I think we're going to build the new house for Blaze later this week. Um, Blaze isn't ready to age up yet. Six days still. So we can't build the new house for Blaze just yet, but we will. The little baby carrier won't come with the pack unless you pre-order it. Summer, so from what we've seen, it looks like there's more than one baby carrier in the expansion pack. The baby carrier that's one of those pre-order bonus items, I think is like a second baby carrier. Because the one in the trailer is different. So I think that everybody who buys the pack gets a baby carrier, but if you buy it early enough for the pre-order bonus items, you'll get a second one. Um, or like maybe they have more than one in the pack, I don't know. But it looks like the trailer has a different one than the one that's the pre-order bonus thing, so. Um, but anyway, again, I, I don't, we haven't seen it yet directly, so there's not really, not really any way to know for sure, but. That's what I I was thinking when I saw it in the trailer. We kind of talked about that in our um, trailer breakdown video. Oh, that's right, we got sickness resistance from the doctor career, oh, that's cool. Okay, you go back to bed. Yeah, and you have until April 27th to get those bonus items, right? So it's, they, it's like not a pre-order bonus, because it like, you get it until April 27th, which is long after pre-order, but um, that's how that works. Also, hi, Dad. Cat cam today. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if we can get some leftovers this morning. Oh, sorry. You know, Megan, I think I really agree with you. Not to get into this, but I saw, I don't know if it was the same person or if um, it was getting asked about multiple times, but on the Selena and Justin Bieber drama, somebody asked, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm really over this, this business of like pitting these two women against each other. I don't really know a lot about Hailey Bieber, but like, I don't really vibe with the entire internet hating on someone. Like, I don't think that that's cute or funny at all. So, I don't know. <laughs> it just seems like not, it's, it's bad vibes. I, like, I don't think it's funny how there's like people doing tip jars, are you team Selena or team Haley? Like, I, why, are we, why are we doing that? Like, um, I don't know. I, it, like, it's so easy to, to not do that. <laughs> I just feel like it's, it's so mean and rude to, again, pit people against each other and all of this like collective mass hate of like the entire internet turning on someone. I just, I don't know. The vibes are way off. I don't like it at all. Um, 
yeah, of course, but it's her fault, but Haley is a bully. Guys, I really think that you need to rethink your mentality on this. Because, like, even if someone has been, like, kind of rude, again, I don't know a lot about this, I don't think that we should decide that any person deserves to be mass-hated or mass-bullied. Like, like, we don't answer bullying with bullying anyway, you know? And, like, we don't know these people, so... You know? I, I'm not trying to, like, defend someone. I don't know if they're bad people or whatever. I just, like, don't agree with, like, mass bullying. Like, I just think that that's, like, not the vibes. Um, I see these TikToks that are, like, I've seen more than one TikTok that's like this, where it's, like, while well, Selena looked like this, and it's, like, pretty pictures of her, they show, like, pictures of Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner, um, from, like, a few years ago. They're, like, they look like this, and they're, like, trying to imply they were ugly. Like, that's not... I don't like that. I like that's just not why. Why are you like comparing people and like saying they look bad? Like I just don't think that that's that's good at all. Um, I don't agree with that. You know. Um, but anyway, um, I know the internet likes this kind of thing because it's like fun or whatever, and it's easy because you don't know them and stuff. I just I I'm so over the like constant. It just feels so mean. <laughs> I feel like it, um, it's gone too far. And the people even now they're coming into my chat and asking me about it. Like, it's just not that deep, is it? Um, but anyway, I just don't care about celebrities and I don't like seeing all this negativity constantly. Kayla bullies me for Sims codes in my DMs. Whoa, Frost, I won't stand for these wild accusations. <laughs> he says, I'm joking, Kayla is actually super nice to me. Whoa! <laughs> I will not stand for this! <laughs> oh my goodness. Little <laughs> Simsy exposed! Team Frost! <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last time I asked Sim Guru Frost for a, a, a Sims code, I said, Hey Frost, uh, I would love to have a giveaway code for my Twitch chat. Bullying. Knock it off. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Is that a skeleton in your house? Oh, yeah. My sim, um, Master the Doctor career. I have all kinds of fun things like this. So. <laughs> Carly, Valkyrie, Mandy, Macklin, thank you for the subs. He's so creepy. You think that's creepy? Really? That's the part that's standing out to you? Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, what are you doing? Let's take a look at the dog up close. Oh. Oh. Not that scary right now. Kind of cute though. Also, this is not a squid in my kitchen. It's actually a live space squid. Not just any squid, but a live space squid. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got some stuff from the mailbox. What is it? Upgrade parts? Oh, his sister adopted a toddler. I'll go meet it. I'm curious. I'd like to see. Everyone, huge news. Simguru Frost, unprompted, has just given me three giveaway codes. <laughs> Hold on, giveaways, let me open one. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, we have three codes. I assume PC, yeah, PC and uh, Mac codes. So they'll work on your computer if you have Sims on your computer. Uh, they're for uh, Jesse's kit. Oh, look. Oh, there's the kid. Jeffrey. <laughs> is for the pastel pop kit. Um, so to enter to win a copy of the pastel pop kit, uh, I've got three. Type the word grave in the chat. You don't need to um, like spam it. You don't need to be subbed. Anyone can enter as long as you type the word grave. Uh, you'll get one entry. 
So one entry per person, as long as you type the word once, you'll get one entry. Type the word grave to win the pastel pop kit. This is so fun. I'm so excited. I like the pastel pop kit. The pastel pop kit is so cute. It's got like such good stuff. Okay, I'd like to leave now. I don't wish to be here anymore. <laughs> um, but type the word grave in the chat to win the pastel pop kit. And again, we have three of them, which is pretty cool. I like the name Jeffrey. I think that's cute. You already have that kit? It's a good one. It's a really nice kit. I think the pastel pop kit is my favorite kit out of all of them. Yeah, the strawberry one, yeah. Or should I say the rocket ship one? <laughs> um, <laughs> when, the, when the kit icon leaked, um, I was joking about how it was obviously a strawberry icon. <laughs> I was joking about how, what if, okay, listen, what if it's not a strawberry icon and it's actually a rocket ship? The leaves, what if it's fire and it's a rocket ship? And then Simgrew Frost comes into my chat and he just goes, it's a strawberry at Lil Simsy. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about it. He just came in, he said, it's a strawberry. <laughs> it really made me laugh. Anyway, type the word grave in the chat to win the pastel pop kit. It is a strawberry. It is in fact a strawberry. <laughs> okay, this sim is really mad. Can you calm down? Should I like take a cold shower or something? I don't know. So dramatic. Um, it's not console. This is a PC and Mac code. Um, and it's global as long as you have the sims on your computer. Okay, I'll draw the winners here in a couple seconds. Type that word grave in the chat. Um, I've got three codes. One last chance to type it. Don't miss out. Type that word grave. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Draw a trit. The first winner is Floor underscore Elberson. Floor underscore Elberson. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I need my mods help with this. Um. Here's the first person's name. And then I'll give you the codes in a second, Muzz. The next winner is Cozy underscore Gamer 8. Cozy underscore Gamer 8 is the next winner. And the third and final winner, I draw entrant. Rebecca underscore X underscore X. Cong Oops, I typed the name twice. I'm trying to put it in chat so you all can see. <laughs> Congratulations, you three. That is so exciting. Muzz, I'm gonna grab the codes quickly. If you could do the little, um, if you could like write me the, the messages so I can copy and paste them to people, the users, um, that would be great. I have to send them myself, obviously, but, um, if you could write them, that would be so useful. Okay, cool. I hope you guys enjoy the kit. It really is such a good one. Thank you, Frost, for the codes. That's fun. Um, okay, let me get the, the whisper thingies open so I can send these. And then, oh, ever since Twitch changed this, so I have to whisper giveaway winners myself, it's been such a pain. Before, um, by default, people's whispers were open, and now they're not, which honestly is probably a good change, but is extremely inconvenient for me, because <laughs> when I do giveaways, I have to do it myself because the mods can't. Okay, you three, uh, Rebecca, Cozy Gamer, and Floor, I have sent, um, all three of you the code and it's got like some instructions on how to do it um it says origin because it's sort of like copy paste basic thing but it's the exact same for the ea app i'm pretty sure um so hopefully that helps and i hope that you enjoy them cool cool okay anyway ali damn it plus cypher and bella thank you for the subs yeah the all three of those codes are for pc the problem with console giveaways ember um is that console is like so locked and by that i mean it's like obviously it's console between two kinds of consoles either xbox or or playstation but then console codes are also region locked and that's nobody's fault that's just how it is so like if i were to do a console giveaway it would be like xbox north america or whatever um it's like so specific it's so hard to do giveaways on stream for console codes because one it's hard for me to get my hands on obviously i didn't buy these codes frost gave them to me but when I do giveaways, it's hard to get my hands on console codes. And then it's so locked, it's so hard to do. And every time I do it, the first winner is always like, oh, I don't have a PlayStation. And it's like, 
Well, <laughs> but I think people enter because they think they won't win. And then like the people that it's just, it's so difficult um, to do console codes. Obviously I would love if it was easier to do. And I, I do console giveaways sometimes. They're just a lot harder for me to get my hands on. Um, it's, it's just, that stinks. Literally one time I won my, co the, I've won my own giveaway once. I always enter as a joke. Cause like, haha, I'd be so funny if I won. And the time that I won my own giveaway, I was talking on stream. Like so many people enter these that like don't even have a console. So like, it's just like a reflex. Like, oh, there's, there's a giveaway type in chat. Even though I said like, it's only console. I do it. I won. I don't have an Xbox. Case in point, <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I'm sure you understand. It's really hard to do the console ones. It's just, it's hard to get our hands on the codes and it's hard to, to do the giveaways on stream. So um, anyway, <laughs> okay. Is the dog dirty? I don't know. Maybe I'll bathe it anyway, just in case. Um, okay. Um, oh, I guess it is slightly different in the EA app than it was on Origin. Hold on. Maybe I can send some follow-up messages. Okay. I'm just copying and pasting what my mods just said. So to the three of you who won the giveaway that are now getting these weird DMs from me, hopefully that helps. <laughs> hopefully that helps. Um, Okay. Let me keep, is that a cupcake? Oh, fun. Bathing my dog. How is Graves still alive? I know, and he has like six days left as well. It's wild. Is purple gen completed? Yeah, I finished all the rules for purple generation. Um, we've done it all. Lived in three different worlds, gotten divorced and remarried, finished the Renaissance in aspiration. Mastered dance and two other skills of our choosing and achieved at least level eight and six skills. We've done it all. So, what was given away? You missed it. Oh, we had we had three codes to the pastel pop kit from Simkaru Frost. He literally DM'd me. He said, "Do you want to do a giveaway?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> absolutely." <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that one. Um, okay, are you gonna get a cupcake machine for Orange Gen? Oh, <laughs> yeah you'll be pleased to know that I actually already have one. So. My house kind of smells like oatmeal. I think Dan, I think Dan got off stream and just made some oatmeal. Dan gets off stream early on Mondays because he and his Discord server do a watch party of The Last of Us. I think Dan just made some oatmeal to watch The Last of Us. I actually respect that. The joys of freeze tag. Huh. <laughs> That's kind of good vibes, honestly. Okay. Where's the dog? Maybe I'll play with the dog. I can't have this dog run away from me, so. Right at level five, not bad. Not bad. Was it filmed in your city? Oh, really? That's cool. New episode is great. I bet it is. I've heard so many good things about The Last of Us. I'm too scared to watch it though, so I just hear about it from others. Sort of a baby. Um, I'm a little afraid of things, all things in fact, so. <laughs> when am I gonna stream again? I'll be here tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, what do I say we're gonna do? Base game building. We're gonna build a gym. I've been trying to build lots to fill all of Newcrest. We're gonna do the base game gym for it tomorrow. So, new crest time. But I'll be here at this time tomorrow as well. That's the plan. That is the plan. What do you want? Ooh, Ed asked you on a date? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Okay, you need to play an instrument for one hour while inspired. How about you take a thoughtful shower? We could do that. Do you have a no poop sign on the wall? Yeah, I do. Thanks for noticing. Will the gym have a pool or no? Cause you want to build a whole pool lot. That's a good question. I, oh, should Cheddar invite over classmate Hugh? That's weird. Hugh is Blaze's boyfriend. <laughs> One of the other Sims is inviting him over. 
Um, yeah, so with the pool for Newcrest, um, or for the gym for Newcrest, we're going to build a whole separate pool. But I don't think I'm opposed to putting a pool in, like, the basement. It's going to be in Willow Creek. Or, what am I saying? Oh, my God. It's going to be on a... It's in Newcrest. It's going to be on a 30 by 20 lot in Newcrest. So I think having a pool in the back is going to be kind of hard. Um, but we'll definitely be able to fit one in the basement if we wanted to. I don't know. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. His name is Blaze Like Fire. So. Is it controversial to wish they'd added tweens instead of infants? We already had a stage between newborn and child. Do you know what, Christelle? I I respect your opinion, but I think I really disagree. Whenever people talk about wanting like uh, tweens or preteens or whatever, I I I've tried a lot to think about this and like decide how I feel about this preteen business. And if I'm being honest, I don't think that I want preteens. I think to me, I don't really know what would be that different for preteens for like kids or teens like I don't really know what they could add to a fully separate life state that would make it worthwhile to me um whereas if they were maybe to do a massive overhaul of teens to make them seem a bit younger that wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be opposed to that I think that what what people really want is like more distinction between teens and adults and I think that's where it's coming from like the desire to have like a younger teen but I, I don't really care about having that like I don't I think that for me I as opposed to getting a new life state I'd rather have like updates to the existing ones whereas like with infants people have been asking for a baby update like to fix the babies for so long I really like the idea of a new better baby you know um and it's cool because it's like new to the sims 4 this new baby thing they're doing so um and and like I don't know the the with the whole development system and the milestones they're adding in the pack I feel like that's so cool um so yeah, to me, I think that like the reason that, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think the reason a lot of us have been want like people say things like wanting preteens, I feel like it has a lot to do with a desire to have younger teens because the teens look the same as adults. So I, I think that's where that comes from. Am I wrong in saying that? But I, I don't think I want preteens. I think I'd rather have like changes to the existing life states as opposed to like another life state that doesn't have a lot going for it, you know? Um... Mary, we were gonna build a gym on Friday and then we decided to build a bar instead. So we changed our minds. <laughs> we were going to and then we switched. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I think it, I think it, a lot of it has to do with their height though. I think people want them to be smaller. And I think the reason they made the preteens the same size, if you guys aren't familiar with the older Sims games, we sort of encountered this on Saturday when we played The Sims 3. Um, but the teens in The Sims 3 are shorter than adults, which is really cool. But they also have completely separate cast assets because their cast assets, are, cast assets are smaller. So they have like way less. So I think that the reason that they made teens the same size as adults is so they could use the same clothing for them. What are you doing? <laughs> Iconic, thank you Snap for that. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I think that it's, that's why they're the same size, but, um, same thing with, like, animations, too, because they're the same size, they can use the same animations. Um, okay, go to work. Go to work. Okay. Um, you were talking to your boyfriend, but I think I would like for you to work on this project, please. Thank you. I think that what they, a lot of the stuff they added in high school years has, has helped a lot with my desire for more teen things. Um, and similarly, I think what they're adding in, obviously we haven't seen all of it, but like from what the live stream showed, what they're adding in the new pack for kids, like things like teaching them to ride a bike and the losing teeth stuff, um, like all of that I think is really going to help. And the, the more kid aspirations, um, but yeah, that's true, Frost. It's interesting because, like, I think I think that part of it also is just that there's, like, a discrepancy in how old people think the teens are. It's like, are when we say teen, are we talking 14 or 17? Because there's, like, actually a kind of a big difference in that, you know? Um, 
so it's I, I feel like the teens in the Sims 4 are just a little bit older you know and that's not a bad thing they can do loads of stuff so it's just interesting felt like newborn to tell her was too big of a step yeah yeah I'm really excited to have the infants I feel like that's gonna be so cool um, to have, like, that additional, like, I don't know, gameplay. Um, play their junior, seniors. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. But, I think 17 to 18, yeah. I don't know. I feel like in my head, I picture them being, like, 16. So, they go from, like, 16 to, like, 24 <laughs> when they age up to a young adult, you know? <laughs> Um, you're not excited for infants at all? Really? Why? Why are you not excited? I feel like, for me, I'm excited about it, I'm really curious about it, and I'm so looking forward to it, but deep down, I'm a little bit scared. I think I fear them a little. <laughs> deep down, I'm a little afraid of infants. <laughs> so, so very scared, yeah. And, like, just scared because I feel like it's gonna be hard to take care of them. You know? Um, yeah, it's really interesting because, like, the toddlers in The Sims 4, you're right, they do seem a lot older than the previous games. Like, The Sims 4 toddlers feel a lot older than The Sims 3 toddlers were. Um, so it's gonna be so cool to- oh my god. It's gonna be so cool to have an in-between. Um, oh, don't call a fire department, I don't need them. Oops. Okay. Yeah, The Sims 4 toddlers could be, like, four years old, you know? Um, fun fact that Sim Guru Connor shared with me, if you have an adult teach a child how to ride a bike, when that child becomes an adult, they will teach other children how to ride a bike faster than compared to an adult who did not learn. <gasps> Wait, that's so interesting. So if they, if they learn how to ride a bike growing up, they have like an innate skill. They can teach other kids how to ride bikes faster. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. I love little details like that. There's like a hidden bike skill. Oh my God. I love that kind of thing. I think that's so cool. I'm always gonna have my sims teach their kids how to ride bikes. I'm gonna- I just love that. I'm so excited about kids' bikes. <laughs> I just think that's gonna be so much fun. Okay. Would you like to- no, don't pick up. I wanna play with the dog a little. Play. Cute. That's gonna be so nice. Maybe you get to know also. I just, this expansion pack, based on what we've seen so far, it feels like it fits into my playstyle so well. Like, just all these little things are gonna work so nicely for my legacy gameplay. Um, but I'm just really excited about it. Since we're always, Sims 4 toddlers are like 2. Well, yeah, Tomatoes, obviously 4 is sort of an exaggeration, but what, what I'm trying to say is the Sims 4 toddlers are a lot older feeling than the Sims 3 toddlers. They're not actually like 4 years old, but it definitely feels like toddlers, as they're learning all those things, like once the kids can walk around, they seem a lot older, don't they? Um, so, I don't know. And a lot changes in a person's life from when they're a baby through toddler, but... Anyway, I'm really excited about the pack. I feel like it's gonna be so fun. If there was one pack you really want to get reworked, like Spa Day, what would it be and why? That's a good question. I always, when people ask me that, I always say luxury party stuff. <laughs> Cause I feel like luxury party stuff um, is, is wasted potential. It was like the first pack, so they hadn't really gotten into their groove yet. Um, I feel like that one, could be changed to be more like the later stuff packs, um, and it would be cool. I think when people say, um, you should have given you a luxury party stuff pack codes to give away. Oh my god, people are missing out on that glow cube. Would you all like to see my favorite Sims pack? Please hold. That is worth $10 right there. This thing, greatest item in the game. Honest, I mean, I say that seriously. It's magnificent. S tier object. 
<laughs> I really like it, honest, I do. Who needs a hot tub when you have the cube? Is that also a glow bar? Yeah, there's some really interesting stuff in the pack. It's not necessarily bad. I just feel like Luxury Party is kind of lacking uh, compared to the other stuff packs. So if they were going to go back and like change one of them, when you compare like Luxury Party to Paranormal, this one has a new lot type. It has an active career. I mean, like this is wild. So the difference is, is, um, astounding, but glow cube. So that's why when people ask me if they were going to update one, I don't really, I'm not like a huge luxury party fan, but I feel like that pack has potential, you know? Um, so, and I like the idea of some party themed stuff, you know, more party is good. As Bran would say, <laughs> more party is good. Okay, would you like to use the bathroom, please? Thank you. Oh, promote it. Let's be a musician. Yay. Now she's level four in her second career. Five, level five in her second career. She maxed a career. Workaholic lifestyle. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Going to work when you don't have work? I do not think so. <laughs> you are not doing that. Yeah, she got to level 10 in the doctor career. We maxed it. Um, hurry up. Okay, let's cook something. Vegetable casserole, perhaps? Yes, thank you. Thank you. They live perfect. Abby, thank you for the subs. Do I have a piano? Oh, not in here. <gasps> when the pack comes out, we can put a stand-up piano in here. I don't know where, but I will. I guess we won't live here anymore, will we? We're gonna move into the apartment, but... Workaholic comes with get to work. No, workaholic comes- it's a lifestyle from Snowy Escape. Um, that's- it's like a lifestyle thing. There's an upright piano. Yes, in the new pack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's huge. Well, it's not huge. It, the, the fact that it exists is huge. So. You know, Bab, I've been trying to decide that. I think, so, for the Legacy Challenge for Not So Berry, I very much play, like, generationally, you know? where I, I have like three generations in this household right now and everybody else. <laughs> um, but the next generation, the orange gen, one of the rules is that they have to live in a needs TLC apartment for their entire young adult life. Um, and so we have to move into a tiny apartment. I can show you which one I'm gonna move into. But I can't very easily bring like all eight Sims and my 200 graves, it just doesn't, it just doesn't, like you can't. So I think what I'm gonna do is bring just my orange gen sim and he can live there in the apartment as a young adult with his kids and, and whatever. And then we'll move back into the big house. So we'll live here in this apartment for a while. Um, and it, it's a needs TLC apartment because it like kind of sucks. Like it, it has like rats and leaky pipes and stuff. Um, and it's a lot trait you can't remove. So we'll live there for our whole young adult life, like the challenge says to. And then we'll leave the rest of our family there in the big house. Um, and then we'll come back. And like build another big house. So I'll, I'll probably live in like two houses as an orange gen sim. So I'll probably like live in the apartment, come back here, get all my stuff again, and then move to a new orange house. Um, so I think, I think that's what I'll do. But... That's the plan. You better hope neighborhood stories doesn't get them. Yeah. I'll leave it on, um, depending on whether or not Raisin is dead. I'm okay, this is gonna sound really bad. I'm okay if Blaze's siblings die from neighborhood stories. But I don't really want for Blaze's parents to die from neighborhood stories. You know? 
but I want the orange dead house to be. I don't know. We could live in San Sequoia after we move out of the apartment. That actually is an interesting... I, I'm going back to Manage Worlds again. <laughs> That's actually kind of an interesting idea because I feel like San Sequoia is not a city, right? Like in the same sense that San Myshuno is. But it kind of has city vibes. We could pretend that like San Sequoia is like more suburby than San Myshuno is. So we could live in the apartment in the city and then like move to the suburbs in the outside of the city in the suburbs of San Sequoia. That could be kind of fun, right? I think I like that idea. Okay, we'll do that with the orange gen then. I like this plan. Yeah, it's not like downtown, you know? San Sequoia isn't like that kind of city, but the house on San Mice, you know? I already lived there, Nick. We lived on that lot with our red gen in that house lot in San Myshino. I built like a fake apartment building and I lived there. So I already lived in that lot. So I probably won't do it again. <laughs> I've been trying to move around a fair amount and not living in the same place over and over, you know? Um, Ray, I think the only worlds, the only world that has apartments outside of San Myshino is the one from Eco Lifestyle. It's called Evergreen Harbor. And I guess like, kind of, if you count, like, the dorms from university, like, those dorm rooms are kind of apartment-y. They're not the same, but it's kind of, it's kind of like a, it's almost the same as, like, um, the penthouse lots are in San Myshuno, but those are kind of apartment-y. It has more apartment vibes, the dorms. It isn't the same as, like, the actual apartments, but it has more apartment vibes. Okay, let's send everybody to bed now. Thank you, go to sleep. You go, no, don't nap, sleep. Silly. No, don't nap, I did it again. Oh, this isn't even your bed, oops. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oops, oops. Okay. Yeah, I would love to have another world that has apartments. I love apartments in The Sims. They're so fun. I like, that's one of my biggest wishes. I really, really like having apartments in this game. So I would really like to have more of them. It's just so nice to have like that sort of, that kind of living. Cause we don't really have a lot of it in the game. So it's fun. And it's nice too. Cause a lot of times, like, I don't know about you, but a lot of times with my Sims, I like want to live in a, an apartment at first and then like move into a bigger house later on once I have more money. Like it just seems like a, a natural progression of a person's life, you know, to live in an apartment and then move out. So I, I, I wish that we had more stuff like that. But also like townhouses, oh, that'd be so cool. That would be so cool. I lived in a townhouse for a long time. Uh, before I moved here, I lived in a townhouse. So I would love to have a townhouse in The Sims. You can kind of build like fake ones, obviously, but I want to like, I want it to work like a, like the real ones do, you know? I want it to work like apartments actually do. Okay, why are you up? Go back to bed. It's almost Yam's birthday. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shame we aren't getting any of the new pack. <sighs> yeah, but we're getting three lots that little Simsy built though, so. <laughs> No, I would love to have more apartments, but um, it feels the how the world feels. I don't know. I like the vibes of it. But oh, it's not three houses. I built two houses and one community lot. But <laughs> excited to see my builds. Yeah, when they when they went to the um, I think I told a story already. But in the live stream the other day, when they went to my rec center, I literally I had to close my eyes. Cause it made me so, it's like, it's okay. Imagine for a second. It's like you're in school and the teacher just pulled up your paper and they're gonna read it to the class. That's how it felt to me when they were like, we're gonna go see the rec center. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> don't look. <laughs> I, was, I was like embarrassed. <laughs> All these people were gonna watch this build that I made. I was so scared to see people's reactions. <laughs> but that's how it felt to me. I literally had to close my eyes. I didn't want to see. 
So I didn't even know, I don't even know how much of it they showed off, because I was like, <laughs> um, But yeah, I tried really hard on that one. It was, it was hard to build, because it had to be so, it was such a huge lot, and then it had to have so much in it, but I feel like it turned out pretty well, so. And I think it'll be really good for gameplay, and that's the goal. Yes, yeah, 64 by 64 is hard. Very, very difficult, but I don't know. I tried. <laughs> What's a rec center? Not American here? Well, I've never really been to a rec center in that sense of the word either, but it's, um, so it's a recreation center, and basically you can think of it as being like a community center sort of vibe. Um, there's a lot of like separate room so there's like a music room and there's a gym space and there's a cafeteria area and there's like a kids area there's an art room so there's like a bunch of um spaces for everything imagine everything there's games tables there's computers there like <laughs> imagine everything <laughs> um that's what the rec center is everything so, do they have a microscope? You know what? No, there's not a microscope. <laughs> gonna put some food stands on yours? That's gonna be so cool. I, I'm excited to build a rec center again once the pack is out for real and like I have all the other packs. Um, Cause I would love to put like, I'll, I'll really like expand out the gym part of it um, be like kind of YMCA vibes. I'll put like a pool. Maybe I'll put like a basketball court, like from City Living. Um, there could even be like a yoga room. I don't know. I want to like really expand that out and like put like so many more skill building things in there. Um, that I would really love to do is put like all kinds of stuff like that. Cause I love the basketball court idea. I love, I wish that we could do that in more packs, but it's only in City Living. So, um, but anyway, it's, it has a lot of, uh, stuff like that, like the art music stuff. Um, and obviously it has like the board game tables, like the um, the new puzzle table and everything. There's, there's not a cupcake machine, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, I failed to include that. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> How dare you, boo! No, there is like a little cafeteria space though. I kind of pictured in the cafeteria area, it has like a little mini kitchen thing and like a, a bar area and some tables. I kind of pictured that room as being like a flex room kind of vibe. And like if they were, obviously this is me just like projecting my little storylines, you know? But I pictured like, oh, maybe they're hosting like an event at the rec center. So they move the tables out of the room and then there's space in there. You know, like I kind of pictured the room being like that. So um, there's not, you know, there's not a moat. I didn't put a moat. It'll look better with the Get Famous Pawn. Do you know what it's missing? One of these. Yeah, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Your childhood local rec center always had a birthday room. Yeah, see? That's the kind of thing I'm talking about, you know? That's so cute. I would love that. And you could host parties there if you wanted to, you know? Um, <laughs> like the high school gym kind of multi-purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, Venus, LP, Soda, Supper, thank you for the subs. Yeah, yeah, uh, Broadcaster Origin and EA are the same. So the code, if you, um, obviously they killed Origin and it's just, just the EA app now, but if you had a code for Origin, all it is is you have a code for an EA game. The EA app is the same thing as Origin, it's just like a new version of it. So the, if you buy an Origin code off CD keys, it'll work on an EA app. We're just in a weird like transition period of the EA app is new. So, um, but yeah, the, the whole community space thing is so useful. I, I feel like I, I desire that sort of gameplay a lot, so. Why'd they get rid of Origin? I don't know. I assume because it sucked. And they wanted to build a better thing, like a better version of it. Um, I think a lot of people are very anti-EA app and very scared of the change. But I found the EA app runs a little better than Origin. And it looks a little better than Origin. And they're trying to make it 
they're trying to make it newer and better, so. The intentions are just to make it better, basically. Um, but some, I know some people have been having some issues with the EA app, but it's not widespread. Um, yeah, they still have some work to do on it, but their intention is to make it better than Origin, I think. Why is this guy gray? Well, he's the gray gen of Not So Berry, but also his mom was an alien, so. Um, anyway. Anyway. Such a nightmare. <laughs> Max loses Origin, really? I, I don't play on Max, so I'm not familiar, but... EA app is way better in your experience. Yeah, I switched it. I was a little bit wary of switching it. Um, I don't know why. I just was, because change is scary. But it was really easy to switch, and it works, so. Um, okay. Garfield's manners fell out of range to earn the good manners trait. Okay. Why? On um, Mac, you got kicked off Origin last week. Oh, really? I feel like most people um, have gotten kicked off of Origin. Dragon Age won't start with the EA app? Are you serious? Oh, that's so annoying. Have you, I, I don't even know, I don't know how to troubleshoot it. I've had a, a couple people I know have had issues. Um, I'm sorry that that's happening to you because that makes me want to cry when I have problems like that. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Will it not, Newt? Oh, I don't even want to think about that. That's too hard for me to think about. Okay, anyway, let me get all my sims ready here. You're eating... Do you want to bake some pastries? Glazed donuts, perhaps? Dragon Age 2 is working for you. Haven't tried Inquisition yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Truly nothing worse than tech issues. Seriously, such a nightmare when that sort of stuff is happening. Okay, would you like to bake some more pastries again? Do you know what? Should we switch our phone to be orange? I think so. I always forget about that. Maybe I'll do that for yours too. You can have yours be purple. Purple background? Fun! Oh, I like that. That's really nice. I don't really... Actually, I'll go to class, but I only want to follow one at a time because I find it kind of stressful. Is that from a pack or did I learn something new? I think that's base game. I think you could always change it, but they, they added more in the update last year before high school years, I think. Maybe? Holland's girl, Flint, Valeska, thank you for the subs. Yeah, there's a poop on the porch. I like it, though. I think it's a nice touch. <laughs> uh-huh, sure. Um, you could always change your phone color, but there's more options with high school years. There you go. There's some more variants with high school years. Um, anyone fun I want to talk to? <gasps> Elise Kimball. Yeah. I like your outfit. I'll just try and make some friends, to be honest. Um, who else? There's not really a lot of sims here, but I'll just keep introducing myself to all of them. You know, the red gloves are a choice, and we got some socks with sandals going on. Not loving your whole outfit, but I like the dress. I like the dress. Honestly, I like your hair. This teacher is cool. Maybe I'll buy a snack next. Okay, come on. I want a snack, please. Stop talking to me. Um, let's get a veggie pizza roll up. That sounds kind of good. Is this a little Simsy made high school? Is it on the gallery? Yes, I built this high school and yes, it's on the gallery. I built this, and this is the first high school I ever built with the pack. Um, but yeah, it's on the gallery, so it's cool. I have like art room, music room, work, woodworking room, jam. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. 
Am I excited for any potential rag searches with the new update? Do you know what? I, I'm actually kind of nervous about that. I've been thinking about it. They didn't talk about earning money at all in the new pack. So I'm like, how are you gonna do rags to riches? Obviously we had some jokes about the tooth fairy, but aside from that, I guess puzzles, can you make and sell them? But I don't know. I don't know. Friendship bracelets. <laughs> But yeah, I was like, do we do it as a child and try and make money from teeth? Like... <laughs> dirty diapers in the money trash can? <laughs> you might be onto something with that. I tried to get rich quick with just diapers in The Sims 4. Okay. Oh, she left. Snap. Oh, she's right there. Hi, do you want to jump up? Come here. You can get on the desk and move my phone out of the way. Come here. You got it, jump. Good job. She's here. Okay, well we lost the cat cam, but we got a cat, so. <laughs> That's fine by me. It's good to see you. See, what's happening right now is I'm gonna get off stream in 15 minutes. And she said, um, I think it's dinner time. And you're not wrong. It is almost dinner time, but you have to wait 14 more minutes, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> patience. Little one, patience. Okay, well, I'll just study until we have class, I guess. Can I study again? I'm fully prepared for the next exam. Oh, maybe I'll go bother people then. I've got an hour. Should I like... I don't know, who should I be mean to? Someone that I haven't met yet. Yeah, rude introduction, okay. Come on. Oh no, it is daylight savings. I forgot about that. Oh, great. That's gonna mess up your schedule, Snap. Oh no. Who was I bullying? This one? No. Where the- oh, that one. Okay. Imply mother is a llama. Act tough. Give mean gift. <laughs> oh! Okay. Class, I guess. Never mind. I can't be bullying anyone anymore because I gotta go to school. <laughs> Happy burrito, thanks for the six months. <laughs> oh, when do the clocks change? Apparently this weekend? I don't know. I don't remember. I remember it coming up, but... <laughs> Remove the blocker, I don't know. Are you mad because I'm in your seat, or are you mad because I... I don't know. Okay. Okay, off we go. Back home. Um, and then maybe we could bring Hugh over? I don't know. Let's see if we get to know them a little bit better. What is this laser show thingy in the entrance? It's from the deluxe version of the game. I got given it um, by Daddy Winter once. So. Ready for more light on the evenings? That's true, having more light in the evenings is gonna be so nice. Um, okay. Come on, let us in. All right, this item though is from Santa. Okay, I guess I'll talk to Hugh. Bright and day, flatter, talk about marriage. <laughs> I'll do that, just to see. <laughs> You're a fan of it being dark earlier, you think it's cozy? Do you know what? That is a very unpopular opinion. Oh, he did not like talking about marriage. He said, I am 16 years old. <laughs> you love the dark earlier too? Oh, really? Oh, I do not like it. It's so nice when, like, 
it's it's light out until later in the evening, so it's so nice to have more time during the day. You know? I guess it depends how early you're talking. Because, like, well, you know, if you live in a place that gets dark at, like, 3, 4 o'clock in the winter, and you're, like, getting home from school and it's dark outside, that is not the vibes. Like, I... I don't- I don't think anybody likes that. <laughs> you know? Um, you just, people just don't like extremes, right? You prefer the dark, you thrive in the dark. Really? I hate nighttime. I think I'm scared of the dark. I do not like the dark. I don't like nighttime, I don't like it being dark early, I don't... I'm- it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. Okay. I'll get rid of this, probably. Maybe I'll keep it. Who knows? Who knows? Alien Daisy! Thank you for the subs! Um... Need a poll? Yeah, so interesting. Get some leftovers, maybe. Oh no, actually, you know what? You should cook something. Stop. We're cooking. <laughs> Little Sims, he has all the same fears Sims have. No, literally, though. What's my Sim afraid of? Fire? Homework? Eh. Being cheated on? I mean, yeah, afraid of that, but if I'm being honest, I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> what about you? Dead-end job? You're gonna cheat that away. I'm a YouTuber, so... <laughs> Fear of death? Yeah. Fear of fire? Yeah. Fear of ghosts? Yeah. What about you? Dead-end job? No. What about you? No. Fire? Yeah. Emphasis on fire, to be honest. Okay. Um... Fear of crowded places I so get. Oh my god, I've never related to anything more. <laughs> Fear of crowded places? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to keep making some more baked goods? Oops. Baking level three. Oh, it takes ages. Refill machine. Clean. Yeah? Okay. You fear the deep ocean? Oh my god, me too. Do you know what I'm scared of? I'm like actually scared of space. I don't like thinking about it. It kind of freaks me out. I actually don't want to hear about it. Like, I'm not... I'm not one for space. <laughs> I'm scared of a lot of things, though. I'm scared of most everything, actually. Ocean is scary. Yeah, I think I'm more scared of space than the ocean. But... I don't know. I think the ocean's kind of cool. It is freaky how much we don't know about it, and it's, like, right there. And how it's, like, so deep. I don't want to think about this anymore. Yeah, this is bad. Are you serious? Okay, hold on. Let me get some screenshots of my sim on fire. Okay. Extinguish self! We know more about space than the deep oceans? Yeah, and I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I do not like space. I'm so scared of space. <laughs> yeah, screenshot first, then put fire out. Priorities, you know? You're more scared of the ocean, maybe, because space is so far away? That's interesting. Garfield has entered the picky eater phase. Oh, big relate to that as well. Super relate to that. Wow, that's... You're afraid of birds? Do you know what? I like birds. Birds are one of my favorite animals. Birds and this. <laughs> You're afraid of frogs? You know, yeah, frogs can be kind of weird. I like frogs though. I think frogs are kind of cute. Looks like Yoda low key. I said the same thing, Mag. The exact same thing. Isn't that weird? Okay. 
You need to bake more. Do you want to try and bake here? Um, bake. How about some peanut butter cookies? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm scared of cats. Because they stick their tail right in my face. Ridiculous. You're scared of birds? The feet are unnatural and I hate them icky? <laughs> I think I like birds. What kind of animals am I scared of? Do you know what? I've always been scared of wasps. But I have a recent serious fear of wasps. Because I got randomly attacked a couple weeks ago. Like, I was just sitting on a bench and I got stung. I didn't even do anything. So I have a- I have a new fear. A newfound, deeper fear of wasps. Because I've- I've been recently attacked. For no reason. So. Not the vibes. I don't like them. <laughs> Bugs from Safeway says, am I not welcome here? <laughs> uh, Bugs, actually, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> The chat has spoken, and they are anti-bugs. <laughs> it's so funny. So often we're talking about things, there's like somebody who has the perfect username. It's like, they're like, oh. <laughs> and they get to make a joke about their name, because they're like, they were made for this. <laughs> I like it. It's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a bug person. I'm not a bug person. Scared of knees? Well, you know what? Knees are weird. I'm with you. I really, I'm gonna be honest. I really dislike the fact that I have a body. I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with that. It's not the vibes. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> I wish that I didn't. <laughs> I do not like it at all. <laughs> and do you know what? Speaking of knees, the other day, this was on Saturday night, I fell over. I don't know what happened. I was just walking into the kitchen, completely wiped out. No clue what went wrong. Just fell. I didn't trip, I fell. And I landed on my knee, and it hurt really bad. And I have this giant red spot on my knee. I think I got like, like, like carpet burn, but it was like my hardwood floors on my knee from when I just fell randomly. <sighs> anyway, so. Am I okay? Yeah. It wasn't even the stairs! No, it was flat ground! It was like a glitch in the system. Yeah, I just fell. I don't know. It was not good. I didn't like it. Oh, I definitely have the clumsy trait, for sure. Not good. Not good at all. Kaylee, Cassidy, Courtney, thanks for the subs. I don't know, Tika. I don't know. But yeah, I fell, so. <laughs> Have you guys seen the video of me falling down the stairs? <laughs> Hold on. I can't play it with, with sound, because um, I'm not trying to get Taylor Swift to take me down, but... Can I... I need, I need a link to it. I'm trying to get to it on desktop and I can't. I posted a TikTok of me falling down the stairs if you want to see it. We've all seen the video. I think a lot of you probably have seen the video, yeah. <laughs> if any of my mods can grab a link, put it in the chat, but um, there we go. Thank you. This site, what? I can't open it. What the heck? That's actually so mean. Why? It won't open. Okay, well, there you go. You can see it in chat. If you're gonna be taken down by someone, Taylor Swift is iconic. That's true. If anybody's gonna take you down, it should be Taylor Swift. I think you're so right about that. Oh, I shouldn't have had him stay up this late. It opened for you? I don't know. I'm sure chat can open it then. Okay. Would you like to go to bed? Yes, go to sleep. You can take a shower and then go to sleep. And you are going to bake this and then go to sleep. 
The way you sat in disappointment. I know. I fell down the stairs. Just completely fell down the stairs. And I just like sat there for a second. And then I got up and like scurried away. <laughs> but you can, you can see how I was just sat there like, wow. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Who was filming is the security cameras. I have a couple cameras inside my house and a bunch outside my house too. You would also if you had viewers come to your house. Uh, I've got I've got cameras everywhere. <laughs> um, which helps when you do things like fall down the stairs because then there's video evidence of it. So <laughs> why are you in my bed? There's a ghost crying in my bed. Go away! <sighs> Ridiculous. Sleep. I remember when I fell down the stairs, after I scurried away into my bedroom, I texted Dan, I said, I fell down the stairs. And then the, the first thing he did was text me like, oh my god, are you okay? And then he went back and watched it on the camera. And so, and so when I saw him next, when he came down, he was like, he had like tears in his eyes from watching the video of me falling down the stairs. I don't blame him, because I was cry laughing about it too after I saw the video. But, um, it was quite funny. <laughs> okay, everyone sleep now. I bet he was crying because he was so sad it happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then that day, my dad came over and we had texted it to him. And my dad, at one point, I like went to go to the bathroom and I came back and my dad was on the couch just playing it over and over again. Ridiculous. Everyone's making fun of me. It's not fair. Classic dad behavior. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your daughter falls down the stairs and you just sit there re-watching it cry laughing. Unbelievable. Anyway, I don't blame I did the same thing, but still. Oh, Josie, hey, thanks for coming by the stream. It's nice to meet you. Nothing better than a supportive family. <laughs> My dad's funny. He likes to, um, re he does that a lot. There's a video of, uh, <laughs> we went to Bush Gardens, um, my family, like last month or something, and my dad and sister stayed behind and didn't go on one of the roller coasters, but they were filming, like trying to get a video of us, like going down the drop or whatever. And in the video, in the background, you hear my dad go, look, that's them. Look at Dan's pasty legs. <laughs> and my dad recognized us, like our row on the... <laughs> on the roller coaster because you can see Dan's pale legs. And my dad keeps referencing it. Ever since it happened, he keeps bringing it up. I think Dan posted that on his TikTok, um, the video, but it's, it's really funny. And he's not wrong. But the rest of us all had like long pants on. And then, so wait, I mean, we were all wearing like black pants. I had like black leggings on and then <laughs> just Dan's pale legs. <sighs> anyway. Um, it was very funny. You're a pasty Floridian too. <laughs> I'm kind of pale also, so I have nothing, nowhere to speak, but not as pale as Dan though. Anyway, um, I should probably get off stream at some point soon here. Um, this has been fun. I'm glad we all got to sit here and chat for a while. <laughs> Um, tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna play Sims again. We're gonna play Sims 4 tomorrow, but we're probably gonna build. Um, I think we're gonna work on making a gym for our Newcrest save. I've been trying to rebuild all of Newcrest. Um, also, Blaze ages up in four days. Okay, so, other stream schedule stuff. I think we'll play Not So Berry again on Thursday. We'll get Blaze aged up into a young adult on Thursday. And then, um, after that we'll probably do the build we'll make the apartment um, for when Blaze moves out. So that'll be kind of fun. We have to cherish these graves while we have them because for a little bit, not for a long time, but for a little bit, we're not gonna have any graves because I won't have space for them in my, in my apartment. So we have to cherish this while we still can. So isn't it Jam's birthday? Jam. Jam was like somebody's grandma. It's not, is it, I don't, oh, oh, Yam. 
I had a sim named Jam also. It's almost Yam's birthday. I was like, who's Jam? Jam's dead. <laughs> no, you mean Yam. Jam was, um, hold on. Jam was, Jam, see? She also lived twice because um, she died of like embarrassment and then I brought her back to life and then she died because she got crushed by a vending machine. But I did have a sim called Jam and she did age up a while ago. Long dead. <laughs> no, you're fine, Christelle. It's an easy mistake. It was probably just a typo and it, it just so happened to be a sim that I also had. So I was confused. <laughs> but no, Yam ages up next time we play also. Yeah, there were like four Hollies at one point too, because we had a sim named Holly, and then somebody married a sim named Holly, and then like we married a guy who had a daughter named Holly, so we had a stepdaughter named Holly. We had like all these Hollies. Holly in chat said, OMG, I'm Holly. Holly was there. <laughs> but we had a bunch of Hollies at one point, not even on purpose. It just sort of like happened to us, because we had a baby with Daddy Winter named it Holly, and then all of a sudden, there was like, more Hollies. And it, like, and it just happened, because there was like another one that we, that married into the family and stuff, you know? Okay, let me go see who all is live then, and we'll probably get off stream soon. Um, let me go look at who is live on Twitch, shall we? The Hollies are taking over, yeah, apparently. Oh, I know where to go. I know where to go. My friend Claire is speed running the 100 baby challenge uh, before the new infant update. Does that say baby number 19? Oh my God, Claire's got some work to do. <laughs> if you have only on 19 and the baby update is next week. All right, Claire, you got seven days. I wish you luck. <laughs> Well, let's go say hi to my friend Claire. Um, if you guys don't follow her, you'll really enjoy her channel. Um, she plays Among Us with us, so you might recognize her from that. Um, Claire Witch Baby, my dear friend. Uh, let's go wish her some luck with the 100 Baby Challenge, yeah? And then and then uh, tomorrow we'll play some Sims again here on our channel. So I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. I'll see you all in a little bit. Sorry. Thank you for hanging out. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Um, Liz, Granny, thank you for the subs pure as well. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in Claire's chat, yeah? Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Good night.